do this one. I knew we forgot something, but we didn't really. A little hold up. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the best live paintball show every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Today is Tuesday, and it is 4.02 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So welcome, everybody. This is going to be a... Uh, an awesome show literally like epic show it's gonna be an epic show i think i think this is gonna be a really epic show we've got guests coming on like literally right now and i was like man the desk looks really uh really clean i mean we got a star-studded roster yeah we do we do um and you know rightfully so uh also check out the digs we've got uh we've got this nice new spick and span collab with hormesis yeah right here we've also got uh, the headband i was wearing i actually i I was probably going to give away two today, but then I saw how cool the one looked, and then I uh, I just kept wearing it, and I wore it this weekend. I practice. So we had practice this weekend at ASG. Don't mind me and all my hands and things going around here. Okay, we need to slide this iPad. I mean, my our picture-in-picture -picture device. Somehow slide it back I here. I would blame all this actually on Instagram. Yeah, actually, that's a very good point. I had to post that. We had a post going up, and then something happened, and, and we lost Kyle's phone, and then we looked up, and it was 4 o'clock, and, and I'm also going to blame it a little bit on Camille, because she made me build this furniture last minute, so anyway, anyway, we're here, we're with y'all, and uh, again, this is going to be an awesome show, Maddie Marshall stuck in traffic, so all sorts of hiccups, road stops, Hand delays. I don't know if a hand delay is a thing. Because we got all these special announcements and mm -hmm, gifts and mm -hmm, everything mm -hmm. very last minute. So I think that was a... Yep, yep. Hold on. So I'm going to move this. Hopefully we don't lose audio while I do that. How do we... Do we look all right? Do we look like we're like in a rush? Probably. Or do we Do we look like... Uh, I think we look pretty good. But I'm not sure. Do we? How do we sound? Do we, can you guys hear us all right? How's the audio? Check, check, check. Uh... I think we, I think we paid the internet bill though. Is our internet working? All right, we got all sorts of stuff going on in the chat room. So, um, do me a favor, everybody who's watching this, go ahead and hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. We want to ramp this show up uh, as uh, at least I showed up for my fans. Yeah, exactly. We got a great, <laughs> great one from Alex. Um, and I want to, I want to ramp this show up because right now coming up here in like less than a couple of minutes we're gonna get the guys on from uh the paintball stats this is gonna be really cool i'm very excited to get them out on this show because they've been doing a lot of cool stuff and they're gonna announce the, top, the top two, two players from uh you got third huh i got third i'm i'm a, I'm a third placer and i'm all right i'm uh a great I'm, job I'm okay with that yeah yeah thank you um and uh dude what they've been doing is actually really cool if you haven't checked them out check out at paintball underscore stats on instagram uh, they're doing some really cool stuff on there and it looks like uh we're glitching yeah oh look over there where we're losing some killibites oh boy oh boy what do you think what do you think camille's doing in there do you think she's uh tinkering yeah tinkering tinkering we, uh, um no we're back tower. we're we're um speed so let me get rid of this let me do this here we go I'm gonna pull this out right there we're gonna get this going let's minimize this screen let's get rid of this i wonder this. if uh since this was uploading so hard yeah let's might, let's turn well, no, that down up let's, let's turn let's get let's get rid of that guy let's get rid of that guy right there let's minimize that screen and we're ripping again i think it was just maddie opening and closing the door he was sucking that in the was internet. fast from when you texted me i thought that uh it's gonna be way longer than that. The traffic was. All right, everybody, and our first guest, Maddie Marshall, is stepping into the building right now. Which one would you like? This one's um, in the middle. Sound works great. Oh, you smell great, good. Kyle. Jesus. Thanks. Mm, how about me? Um, not as much. I don't have anything. I don't have anything on. You have that like forty-two-year-old, like musky odor. I just smell like skin. It might just be Doghouse Studios. I mean, I put cologne on even if I'm going to a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Let me Kyle. move the God bless you. Let me move the the cam a little bit over here to to get the whole squad in. 
Right? Let me, uh, I can actually, you know what I can even do? Watch this, guys. Watch this. Yeah, we can jacket, go, we dude. can go, we can go. This is, uh, Oliver gave this to me from Bali. Hell yeah. Yup. I got one of those too, but it's green. There oh, we go. I have something, uh, some heavy duty snooze for you to try oh, fuck that I got. Tight, too. Let's, like can we move the, OG can we move stuff? the, uh, the light back just yes. a little bit? It's super hot. Not like temperature wise, but it's hot. making me look extra pale. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't take much to make me look pale. So, how do we go? How do we add these people to FaceTime? What do you mean? How do we how do we just like how do we it says invite by messenger. Oh. Those are the numbers. And they both have iPhones. I've confirmed that. Do we have to add their names to the the thing? Get those two get those two numbers up on on FaceTime if you can if you can if you can manage okay. that. All right. Um, all right, so real quick before we jump into everything, thanks, Maddie, for jumping down here. Of course. Um, we're about to get the paintball stats guy. Actually, we could put, do it on your computer, too, if that makes it easier. I mean, I think this should work. It should. It just says invite with messenger. I've never seen that before. Um, so while we get uh, the technical difficulties ironed out here and everybody's tuning in, I want to send a big shout-out and thank you to all of our show supporters. Uh, everybody who, whose names are in green, you guys are all um, members of the show. Support us uh what some way and by sharing by liking by subscribing and for all of you who are uh are discounted merch perk and mega support status members you guys all you can actually just try it and find my messenger and see what happens um you guys all just got a nice little discount code to the dynasty paintball store so dynastypaintball.com just launched some dynasty hormesis pants and those are available right now. And if you are uh, a top tier member of the show, you guys are getting a 10% discount code. That's site wide. Site wide. So, you know, pick yourself up some goggles, pick yourself up whatever you want. And uh, right now we are getting into calling the paintball stats boys right here. Let's see if they can see us. I think that's how it works. Maybe push the ring button. Invite sent. So. Let's see if uh, there we go. All right, we got one of them on there. So hold on one second. We're gonna while we get there we go. All right, it worked. It worked. We're going to Dallas. I like We're the fit. Look at that. Definitely like he's about to head into town with a, a six shooter on one hip and a, like a, a Henry uh, repeater on the other. You know. All right, so we're gonna go to Dallas. I'm I'm coming prepared. <laughs> We're gonna jump over to the Nectar Projector here and uh, get these boys here on. Suited, tooted, and booted right here. <laughs> we got Sam Momville in the house. What up, Sam? Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> uh, how's it going? Good, good. You know, trying to get prepared for this event. It's been felt like it's been nonstop since Vegas, and doesn't really feel like there's even been a break. But excited for them to just get back to the boys and get things going yeah you were and you were just up at the wc event uh two weeks ago so you're just you're everywhere yep, yep. and i was in michigan last weekend for some uh some friends have a little mech event out there so when you did that <laughs> yeah so been all over hell yeah um so let's talk about uh the paintball stats thing because i think um i mean maddie said it a million times this is like Matt, maddie's the one of one of maddie's five fingers of the uh sports marketing death punch yes. is yeah, it. is uh is is statistics obviously he's the storyteller the narrator pretty maddie has has is is the fist <laughs> that is punching everybody in the ears <laughs> what well, sam we, sam I, and yeah. i had a great talk uh post the last event i just am a big fan of the statistical uh measures of greatness <clears throat> that they've been categorizing and talked about the present the future and yeah man i mean you know tip the hat and respect to you know sam and all the guys over there at paintball stats it's just you know as i always say like no one just wakes up in the morning is like i really wonder what's happening with paintball or why is this guy good it's until you can actually put some sort of statistical measure of greatness combined with the current thing that's happening and their history and all these different elements together it, it you can't overstate the importance so respect yeah, bro think... respect we we keep trying to reiterate on people because they'll be like, well, why is this guy right here? And this is <clears> and everything. It's like stats only tell half the story. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that there is nuances in our game that we 
cannot equate for. Like, Ryan, in the moment in the finals, to him, that's, you know, that's a standard thing that he has done a million times, but the magnitude in which in that finals that singular play was for the entire event, you can't just assess value to that. It's, oh, we can. there's, the, the stats tell the overarching, but they don't tell, well, that singular point is, has carried so much weight. So we try to tell people, you know, this is an overall, this is not singular moments in which you need the video and to actually watch with your own eyes to add that part of the story and then guys like maddie can actually t- give you the history give you all that and make people interested mm-hmm. and have metrics for why they should care 100%. yeah because that that becomes more of a, <clears throat> a subjective look you know like you yep. can't put like what's like a pressure it's almost like a pressure meter yep. well, you know like which would be sweet but like how can you gauge this one obviously there's way more importance in overtime and the finals than there is in like you know, we're beating a team six one, and someone makes a good move, right? Yeah. Without so stats, without without so stats, ways to do it. The yeah. only object, yeah, the only objective measure that we have statistical without some type of diverse in, you know, uh, stats that are accurate is wins. You know, and placing. Yep. That's it. And having, and if you look at, you know, it's it, this is just. You know, and there's a lot of history to this, but it's like, and it's incredibly hard to, to do it. So that's why it's just, you know, so much respect to, to what these guys are doing right now. And because it just, it adds to it. So when I say, okay, well, why is this guy elite? You know, we, we throw that word. We That's a word we've been using for maybe the past half decade or so, um, because it is a very appropriate word. Because, I mean, anyone that gets into the pro league, if there's 20 pro teams, around 200 pro players. All those guys are good paintball players. Guys that are making Sunday are great paintball players, but what what's elite, right? I mean, and and so uh, to have some sort of statistical measure to say, well, this is his survivability, and this is how many bunkers he played, his versatility, and have a, me- a metric to put to that. Ultimately, you know, the Holy Grail's kill count, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there's just a there's a there's so much to it, and it just helps all of what we're doing, you know. It's... Exactly, and that's with like that pressure metric and all that. That's possible. It's absolutely possible. Not today, but in five, six years when we have statistical data to actually start creating these metrics, something like football has been around for a long time, but it wasn't until the last so many years that even a metric like yards after carry was recorded. And it's like, well, they could have been doing that all along, but nobody knew. And so it's just, we have to set a baseline of right now as our industry, the stat lines, the baseline has not been set. So everything we're trying to do is kind of just, this is the metric we're giving. This is what it's based on. We have to start somewhere to build. It's, you know, if you don't have a good foundation, the house is not going to stand. And so we're just trying to set that base for the industry to be like, okay, here's what we can show for now. As we record more, we can branch out, but we don't have an accepted metric right now. Right. Well, and and actually, thank you, by the way, for knocking the door down. Right. We had stats in the back in the day. It was awesome. And it, but it's it's extremely and I'm sure you can attest to this. Like it's it's very time consuming and laborious and therefore expensive. And what's really cool and like, you know, nod to, to Maddie, who's been doing this uh, well underpaid for for uh, decades and uh, so have we you know and like Everybody for what we has. do tyler and, and marcel and the ptg you know mafia uh all the guys that are doing content and creating a story or creating a reason to want to care about paintball in during the week and all the time that you're just creating something that we want to constantly tune into it's awesome because you're putting a lot of your time your effort your own mo- money into it <clears throat> to create a product that people now can back and get behind and like are excited to see like the way you're rolling out all of the stats and the players things like the graphics, just even the graphics alone on how you guys are doing it with the heat maps on everything. um, It's so cool. Well, and also ideally it will allow the facilitation of being able to do something. Well, first of all, people are betting on this already. So that helps draw attention. Second of all, even if you don't want to put, you know, financial skin in the game, uh, or can't legally from wherever you're at, or whatever. You could do a fantasy. You know, you do mm-hmm. fantasy leagues yourself. And, yeah. and the way that they're doing these metrics is, I think, really interesting and high level because, excuse me, is because um, it's a it's like a rating and they're weighting certain percentages, and it's a great start, man. So, 
Yep. Yeah, and, and uh, speaking of fantasy, I've <coughs> I've devised a whole game. Oh yeah. Using our metrics, and it would be basically a whole event, you know, cumulative. But I've assessed values to players of positional. So you'll be able to have flex positions. You'll be able to pick so many guys within snake side or side and these things. So you can comprise your team with a money value to them and have a salary cap and actually have a fantasy game of paintball for events. And it's, you know, before it was just, we kind of put values, but I don't think anybody really knew what the values were. So now we can put more numbers to these. And it's like, if we didn't invent the wheel, you know, PB access was doing it at a high level. And unfortunately the industry just could not support it any longer for how the industry was going. And so it's like, we just picked the ball up and are trying to move it along further from where they had started. And it's, you know, the, the fantasy thing's big. It's, Everybody wants to have more skin in the game when you watch football, when you watch baseball, when you watch fighting. It's like people that don't even watch those daily put random money on it. So like, I don't know, I'm going to be watching it, put 20 bucks on it. It's like we could bring this to our industry and bring more excitement in eyes. So what <clears> – <throat> and then also like when you create this product, right, because now the NXL is putting throwing their hat in the ring uh, for – creating a stat line and, and Jason and them have been creating set. They, they were keeping stats all last year. Um, I, I had to talk with them about talking about, and this is something I've mentioned to him before, but you know, creating a new, uh, uh, ranking system. So like we've talked about this red shirt program for a while about like, if you, if you know, heat or a top tier team get somebody and Damian Vasquez is a perfect example of this. We wanted to bring him up in the, in the ranks, we put him on our roster. We win, three, four tournaments, he only plays a couple of points per, per event, mm. but he's ranked pro, you know? And yep. it's it's just it's just a bummer because it kind of can ruin your status. And so the stats element, when you add that to the game, you can now <clears throat> quantify with the players that are on the field actually how much impact or how many <laughs> points they're getting or whatever it might be to yep. determine whether or not they should be considered or ranked pro because it does take a lot away from guys who are trying to de develop and grow yeah and it might not it might be that might deter some players from like and i have a great opportunity to play with heat or damage or like a top level team but if i don't it's a very competitive team also yeah. if i don't make it i'm like my ranking is screwed you rank yourself out of playing the exactly. divisional <clears throat> yeah, which is huge you know? so yeah. that was something i did with our ranking system was mm -hmm. i actually i call it team asterisk <laughs> They're all guys that are asterisks because yeah. they did not play enough <laughs> for Dynasty. Harrison Fry was on Team Asterisk because it is not reasonable to have his rating be so high when he's gaining all the points. When So Harrison played five points, which was only 9.3% of Dynasty's points. So that's not enough of a sample size to say he actually had enough input on the team to affect the outcome so mm -hmm. we take those guys and have a separate category on the side for team asterisk and it's stuff like that which adam gardner was when i was coming up did that to me he didn't allow me to go on philly because he goes i don't know if you're going to pan out and there won't be a pro team locally for you mm -hmm. you're stuck with a pro tag and it's you know i had somebody that actually was just looking out for my well-being but We've seen it for years. How many guys have you seen coming in and out of the league that got bumped up to a pro team, played three points in a year, and then that team kicked them off, and then they had nowhere to go, and then you just never hear about these guys again. Yeah, because it, it, so it's it like sense their growth. The player base. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's <clears throat> that's something that I think a lot of a lot of the pro teams and players have also kind of been advocating about <laughs> as well. Yeah, it's just a. You know, because it is, it, it's a great opportunity, but it's a double-edged sword. Because if you can't, if you can't swim, then yep. then then you're like, hey, will someone pick me up? And you're like, well, I don't want you as my pro. I'm gonna get like an actual pro to guess with me, or or whatever it might be. So definitely, um, <clears throat> definitely needed what you guys are doing. Um, and I, and I think what you guys are doing is going above and beyond just like. Yeah, yeah. The easy stats. What's your uh? What what do you? What's your next goal to grow? Like, what kind of stats are you looking to put up? Um, and then and then, what uh, what would you need to grow? 
So first, if Kyle can, uh, Pat, uh, give Pat a call as well. He'll, he'll oh. join in on that. Yeah, he, yeah, he's, oh, he, he, he was on he, here. He's, he's supposed to be. Oh, you just add him on that one. Sorry, he was he was yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. the the yeah okay. he's uh, he's got the invite. We just gotta. Yeah, that's our goal. Honestly, the the main goal right now is, oh, is that why he said to uh, collect the data. Uh huh. And uh, there's other metrics we want to continuously grow because one of our like my big things is I'm I really want to bring strength of schedule to light, so we can actually say like. If we could have added strength of schedule into Dynasty stuff for the last event, your guys' prelims bracket was unreasonable. <laughs> like I don't think it was that unreasonable. I mean, it was pretty <laughs> unreasonable, bro. I mean, but, but what's reasonable like, these days? No, right? I was, yeah, it was pretty rough. Those cumulative teams, if you looked at them on paper, you're like, what the hell? Like, that's a bracket of brackets. And, you know, we should be able to give players their due for fighting through scenarios like that. And I think that's just adding in for somebody like Maddie before the event, he can say this team has this strength rating, but their strength of schedule going into Dallas, they're going to be playing these teams. This is where the teams kind of chalk up against each other. And this is how the landscape is going into Dallas. Or were they saying, or were they Sorry, we're trying to add Pat here. I put an eight Wait, instead on. of a five. Now and... you're doing percent signs. Oh boy, how's that happen? Oh, shift, shift, shift button down, dude. Eight this percent? is eight one three three zero <laughs> two. Uh huh. Add. Does he have um? Yep. There we go. Add okay. person. There oh. it is. There. Oh, was there you had it? Oh, you had a oh. number off. I I had a number off. We're doing it quick. Yeah, Pat deserves it. There we go. I was like, he's like, it looks like your IT department's having some troubles. I'm like, why aren't you joining, dude? Yeah. I sent you the link. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, that's why they give us the the handy drill on our our spick and span headbands is because of how 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 competent we are with uh, with tech tech and creating stuff and uh, you use drills to to like set up computer stuff. I don't right? know what that is. Computer stuff or drills? No, drill. I don't know. <laughs> Never heard of it. All right, now we got you in there. No, I, no wonder you weren't yeah. joining. Some jackass typed your number in wrong. <laughs> All right, well, welcome, Pat. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely. Thanks for uh, thanks for for. Uh, you guys are doing? Well, I don't know if you've been watching the last uh, 15, ten minutes. I've been or watching. So. Don't worry. Yeah. Thank you for everything that you guys are doing. Um, this is really cool. Uh, um, so for everybody that's watching, we uh, Sam and I just posted one and two. Um, they are now live on our it? Instagram. All right, what do we got? Who do we got? Talk about it. So uh, coming in number two is gonna be Marcelo Margot, and number one is Daniel Camp. Whoa. Daniel Camp, congrats, legend, legend dude. Yeah, it's so, so good right now. now. Um, let's talk about Dan's uh, Dan's performance between. So what 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 goes into capturing these stats? How many people do you have um, watching the games? From what angles? Um, how does it work? Because guys are flipping left and right, or they're playing on this field in particular, one side and then the opposite side over there. So it's not like one person can really, I guess it could, kind of. How does it work with with gathering the, the stats and content? Uh, well, first off, I want to thank uh, Ryan, you, and the Champions Club for allowing our people to uh, invade your area. <laughs> that was really nice. It helped out. Our pleasure. Um, so we have a we have a live system that's going. Um, so whatever side of the field that team is playing on, they're in that document working through those stats. And when it flips, they can just open. They just literally transition over to the other team. And okay. They can constantly moving. So we have multiple people from multiple <clears throat> angles tracking data. Okay. And then me and Sam get the lovely job of going back through it all and making sure it's all correct and opinions. <laughs> um. What uh, I was just asking Sam, what what's your guys's so because you guys have grown as far as like the type of data that you you've put out and shown. What's your what's your next step, next goal, and like what do you guys need? What hurdles are you guys going overcoming to, to get that <coughs> stuff up? So like the biggest hurdles are like anything in PayPal, right? And I think you could all attest to this is money. You know, mm-hmm. making this a sustainable thing to be able to continue it. Uh, the PSP struggled with it. Um, and that'll probably be our next biggest hurdle. Uh, when it comes to metrics, we've got oodles of data that we just have. And that's the cool thing about stats. You can just go 
and really uh, look at it from any way you want and create any type of outcome. Uh, so, like, I like the NFL where, like, they'll be like, hey, on a, when a team plays on a Saturday afternoon and it's 52 degrees, they've got, like, an 80% chance to win. That really has no meaning on the actual game. It's just they've added all these numbers together and created it out. So are you guys taking temp <laughs> out yeah, there? Yeah, I think the temperature is temperature. No, yeah, works. relative. That would be interesting, you know, sun. because, like, you could take time of, like, once you get – and that's great. Like, you guys are just casting a wide net on all the – getting as much data as possible and choosing what you want to put yes. in there. And then once you compile enough, all that outskirt data, you can start to say, like, well, Ryan doesn't look like he likes to wake up early. Because uh, well, that's, <laughs> it, Sunday it, morning, but, it's, but it just it, again, yeah. it's just more stuff yeah. to talk about. There, for you know, sure. Be like, well, on the second Tuesday of every month, uh, when the Bronze eating eggs for breakfast, you know, he typically scores <laughs> over forty points. You know, when the sun is a waxing gibbous, which just yeah, gives I mean, more shit to talk it's about. Inter- it's interesting, though, right? So, like, do, does Dynasty play better in the morning than they do play in the afternoon during the prelims? Um, does Diesel work play better in the morning versus the afternoon schedule? Um, all those like become a factor. So like when you're one of the top teams, you're traditionally, uh, I think the one bracket always plays in the afternoon, which makes it a different setting to be in the morning, you know? For sure. Like how the paint's made and what goes on with it. And those are really uh, important, especially going in. I mean, we have a different because of World Cup now with the Champions Cup, but before it was, that was kind of a big deal. Because in Florida in the afternoon, you had to contend with the rain and the, you know, the instant humidity that would come in along with it. So all that makes the game different and tracking that and then being able to let people discuss it is what makes it entertaining. 100%. Yeah. And, and I, 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 like I said, I, I know you were watching earlier and we, I didn't get to give you props like straight up, but this is such a cool, like the paintball stats thing is so cool. Um, it obviously raises the bar as well. Cause, cause the NXLs now, they, I know they've been collecting stats for the past year, um, but your guys is are way more comprehensive. Um, at least from the data that you're giving, but they, they have some other stats as far as like more team oriented stuff. Um, but it's, so, it's so cool. Um, and, and I don't know, Maddie, like as far as like what you see and you, you follow their stats as well. Well, I just, what, I love what, uh, what, um, uh, what they're doing because it, it gives a, a very comprehensive, more thorough understanding and the complexity of the situation. Again, mm-hmm. we're talking about different variables, right? So the more variables that we have, to, for us to talk about, for the fans to digest, and for them to talk about themselves, I mean, that's, at the end of the day, what we need to exist. Um, if we And it, it's just such a big pillar of all sport, you know, some sort of statistical measure of greatness that has a high level of accuracy, which allows people to really dig their teeth in and give objective measures of greatness instead of just, you know, the all we live, we other than wins, it's mostly subjective. You know, I can sit here and give you my plus minus. It's like, okay, this team went, you know, two and two in the prelims and with a, you know, with a, a plus two and, you know, they went in this on Sunday. I can give you like how, you know, I give you those types of stats and then we can have a subjective discussion of who played best. But to sit there and look at Daniel Camp's stats, you can watch it actually go down. And then go back to the statistics and then be like, okay, well, let's let's break into this a little bit and dissect, you know, what that greatness actually means. It's, just, it's epic. It's, this I mean, is absolutely a- needed, man. This is the type of shit we need yeah. to move forward. Yeah, and, and, and just in case, for, for those of you who have not seen what exactly we're talking about, I'm going to bring it up here on the on the screen. I'll get a little picture in picture going. Because... Uh, um, this is their this is their site here on our screen. Sorry, I'm kind of blurring out some faces here a bit. Um... But uh, who does the graphic design on your side of things? Uh, we have uh, Sam and a team of people. So we've got a pretty decent staff now that yeah. we're working with. That's people contributing. It, on this on this screen, that's like uh, the one bunkers one? they went to off the okay, break. I got right? it right here. Kyle. Well, the bunkers they played. Yes. Wait, played or well, went to off the so break? So off the break. break. It's just, off the break. Off yeah, the break. That heat, that's yeah, that's of, what I was going to say. That's a lot of spots. Yeah. Dude, Marcelo has three. Yeah, I only have two. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically a three because you shoot uh, back center. You get we yeah, left and situation. right. I saw, I saw the, I saw the left and right thing. That's actually a good point. I'll take three. Um, which and this is that's this is my favorite part to look for at. For sure, right? Is to see where these guys play, and this is such a cool thing. If you could get someone to be like in real time, because again, the the end goal on this, and it's so funny when when I've been talking to you guys this this week, is you think of like the <laughs> amount of money that goes into other professional sports, 
and like slowly but surely like imagine if someone came in with like mega millions of bucks and you can be like all right if he's lined up on you know because we kind of do it like hey if he's lined up on the outside or the inside this is what he's showing he's probably going to go to one two or three of these spots if his gun's down and his his head's pointed inward that's why a lot of guys shuffle around on the box but it's such a cool concept if imagine if you could get this sort of thing in real time you're like all right we got to worry about him because he can play anywhere um and he's going to all of these spots uh, so at the event, I'll show you a video. I have a, a friend that does some pretty high-level AI projects, and mm-hmm. he actually made one. Um, so it's kind of leaning in towards predictive AI, mm-hmm. and you get a wire frame over top of the players, so you can start seeing where their body tendencies start leaning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you could start the, and again, you need historical data to be able to quantify. You'd probably have to put cameras at practice. And so you can start seeing how players lean and stuff to go to certain spots. It's all possible. Yeah, and again, it leans back, back into games time and money. Yeah. It's, yeah. you know, that's something that you would need the data for it to actually reduce it down to say, when the body's positioned like this, they're going here, which there's actually a lot of that information basically for free these days out there. If anybody knows how to use GitHub, there's a lot of APIs out there for things like that, which were derived from soccer, football, and all these things. But it's we are not far enough along as an industry to tap right. into its potential. Yeah, no, that's, just, that's for sure. Just just to clarify, our stuff is is running in real time. So when our, our individuals are actually applying the data mm-hmm. at the field, mm-hmm. if you have access to that drive, which is a, a cloud-based drive, you can watch it happen in real time. Oh, nice. Dude, where's the, subscri- where's never- the subscription so, button? Yeah. You know we, what I mean? Yeah. So we've had a, we, we are testing with a few teams. A few teams used it in Vegas um, where they had access to the drive um, to see how they would like it. Um, all the information is, um, I built this back in the day. I went to Sam because I own a small paintball store. So me and Sam like talk uh, pretty much every day for no reason. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, hey, man, I have all this data. And I don't think I'm going to do paintball this year because the time I wasn't going to come back. And um, I, he's like, well, how much data? And then I kind of let him in. I think uh, I told Maddie this. I think we have about a terabyte of information. So about every play ran from 2015 until now. So when, I, from the, when, I, went to, so when I went pro in 2015 until now. Um, it's gotten a lot better over the years. I mean, it started out very raw in spreadsheets, but now the heat bloom that you're, you guys are seeing, that's actually being produced live. That isn't like we're obviously, uh, Sam is doing a really good job in the team of editing it to make it look uh, more presentable to the public, mm-hmm. but that heat bloom is actually being done live as the tournament's going on. Really? Yeah. Um, who played the most spots? I think it was like one of the Russians played a lot of spots out there. Nope. There's so we I use World Cup as kind of the baseline, and you rarely saw players ever go beyond eight spots. That okay. was about the baseline, and there was two players this event that passed that. And oddly enough, they both did ten total and total that, spots played. Yep, off the break. And oh, that okay. was Sakaguchi and Carter Donaldson. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Arturo had nine spots. If he oh, just shot out of the back center on the left side, he would have shot out of the left side. <laughs> Skinny, dude. Come on, get him his 10th spot. Yep. <coughs> and, and just so you guys know, we're, we're currently waiting. Uh, Sam's building out a website. But every we have every single player in the league that played a point at the tournament. We have all of their data. So wow. I think there was Sam was there was like 170 people played right, yeah, like 170 or something. Yeah, like that. and 156 of them qualified within our system to get rated. Man, wow! I have a question. Um, which one of you two did Harris piss off? <laughs> Neither. Neither. Uh, we actually talked to him about it. He loved oh, it. Okay. We, um, cool. We, the reason it came down is, uh, unfortunately, the ML Kings provided us a photo that they had not gotten permission to use. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, just, I wonder, because like, that's we like had chaos. To, uh, we had to remove it after we, Sam and I both personally talked to the individual, and uh, we were unable to make an arrangement. 
Oh, so we are going to repost that once we have a photo, but right now we're a little out there. So if you're a photographer and you have a picture of Harris and an ML, I mean, we just got to be like could, every much. photographer. In we the could league. pull a screen grab when he was on the show working at Lowe's. You guys yeah, any, any, yeah, any picture, yeah, working at Lowe's, that would be With those blue shirt. On. Anything would be good. Even like for that type of post, I think just some grainy old yeah, screen yeah. grab would be perfect. I mean, we can make it, we can <laughs> make an AI yellow one made of flags. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like an AI AI photo. Photo. Listen, we actually have an AI department of our own, as a matter of fact, that yeah. Kyle uh, Kyle heads. Um, and we could probably come up with some good some good content there for you. And I think that that might work best. I'm good. Thank you. I'll take a uh, yeah, no. I'm good. Um, yeah, so Sam Sam had the idea of Mr. Uh, Irrelevant, and we thought it was great. We ran with it. We talked to Harris. He was all about it. Um, um, <laughs> Any press and, is good uh, press, baby. We, uh, yeah, Harris, that's kind of yeah. how he looked at it. Yeah, I think uh, after their performance, they uh, he he needed anything to go up there. <laughs> and I, but I mean, you guys could. They were not good. They were not good. I appreciate that because a lot of people just know oh, Harris yeah. for the face value of. The webcast and the on field and pit antics. It's like if you've ever sat there with that guy for five minutes outside the field, he's an amazing individual. Yeah, and he he was literally like, "This is hilarious." Hit it up. Like, all right, appreciate it, man. Which is which is actually kind of funny because you you started the bron was it the bron schnoz schnoz bron schnoz and unfortunately <laughs> I was thinking I of the bron schnoz yeah. whole handful of barrels. Um, out and I only received one tip and two barrel backs back from that and Billy Bernaccio won it for the dumbest thing he could have done in the finals game and almost lost him the event but I was like you deserve the bronze schwanz and it was just for the most boneheaded move of the event so I was like there you go we have the golden barrel so we gotta go the opposite direction so <laughs> yeah that was what? Golden toy what year was that that was like the I want to say 17 maybe yes yeah, 17, 17. Probably. billy billy was a good sport about it but and it's funny that billy was the one that ends up getting it because like he you know yeah in some university he already has a golden barrel yeah. so it's just it's, you know if you don't win the tournament then you're not gonna get the golden barrel and they just if they would have lost tournament. because of the, he basically spun in a very tight match and got them a penalty they just start down bodies and it's like if you would have lost because you guys were already up. Like yeah. You, you spin and do it. It's like, hey, man, it was going to be a really awkward conversation because he was getting it one way or another. It would be awkward <laughs> if they lost. But I was going to have to walk over there. I was like, if he hit me, I'd be like, I understand it, but the barrel's still yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's that's great. And, and honestly, like, it's funny because Maddie, one of the one of the things that you talk about in your uh, in your in your marketing uh, pitch is like, you need obviously stats, the storytelling, but you need rivalries, right? Hundred percent. But I always say, and it's actually that's why it's great. It's like light humor that what you're doing, right? If you even if you're the Mr. Irrelevant of the event, like, dude, if you get that, it's like, first of all, there's a reason, you know. If you blow it, you blow it, you blew it. Work harder. But but don't get mad about it, you know. Look, it's it is funny, and I'm glad that Harris is a good sport about it. But there's, you know, I mean, it, it it's also plays into human psychology. I mean, there's a reason right. why tabloids exist. It's a negativity bias. I mean, you you like people actually statistically want to know more about people that failed than the people that actually did things well. It's a subconscious thing because you don't want to you don't want to emulate the thing that the person did bad. So, but Dude. yeah, it's just I don't know, and also it's just funny. So it's yeah. like there being some sort of lighthearted. It's just, like everyone takes it so seriously, and of course, and rightfully so. But having something like that is it's just funny, man. You know. Yeah, and that's I I've always just been like you know, at the end of the day, we play a game. Yep. Like, let's enjoy this and. You know, back in the day, in the 10-man days, the rivalries were bloody. And where nowadays, it's like Brian, Kyle, like I, I've probably spent more hours with you guys drinking beers in Europe than I have in the States. And it's like, how, how many people can say that that's the scenario for things in their industry where it's like, dude, we've done this in Australia and Asia and everywhere. And it's like the road warriors always meet back up. But it's like, at some point, it's like we're all in this together. And it's like, we kind of, unfortunately, like, Brian, you have been at the top level for almost, what, two decades? And <laughs> when people talk about these other players back in the day, they were so great, they were so great. It's like, you had five times the amount of pro career they ever had. 
And we, with that power and what you guys are doing now with your podcast and owning a comp, a, a marker company and doing all this stuff, it's like you guys are kind of helping pave the way with all of your experience for the next generations. And it's kind of being missed by a lot of people being like, it's kind of up to us to like continue the torch. Cause if you look at GI, Billy Saranti's at the top of there, Adam Gardner still runs our company and stuff. And so it's like, they could only carry it so far when they were playing. And so while we're still in, it's like, we kind of have to figure out these next things that can start growing it to the next level. And as we also move into the company sides as well, it's like, it's on us. Like no outsiders are going to come in and save us. And it's like with our years of experience, we need to take advantage of it to help everybody. It just, it doesn't get brought up enough. I just, I love the fact that you're saying that while you're wearing your, the outfit you're wearing. Cause the, the metaphor I like to use is that look, the fucking cavalry is not coming to save us. Okay. Like maybe <laughs> sure. Maybe one day Red Bull will be like, all right, we're over the gun thing. Here's $5 million, you yeah. know, or whatever. Like I, and I've been hoping for that day for 20 years, but at the same time, as much as I am working and we're all trying to one day get to that point, like we can't expect that this thing that we love so much, all of a sudden, which is, you know, again, we're playing war, we're shooting guns at each other. We can call markers and we can call it this and call it eliminations instead of kills, but like it is what it is. So the fact that that's just why I, I got to tip my hat in respect to this, the stat thing you guys are doing. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I've told you guys this on and off camera before and same with Marcel and every, everyone that's doing it, you know, it's like, no one's going to come to save us. We have to do this ourselves. And we are heading into a new paintball golden era. I really feel it's like coming off of Vegas with the big showing that there I just went to WCPPL last weekend. Yeah, you know, they're, yeah, teams. they're crushing it. You know, you're talking to fields and stores. We are seeing a slight dip, though, and this is why everyone needs to work extra hard here in the sense that COVID was a blessing uh, in disguise for paintball because it definitely gave, well, in some, depending on what area of the world you're in, a double-digit digit growth because it was one of the only things you could do. We're seeing the, that boom currently. Um, but, yeah, man, it's – yeah. so, yeah, the Calvary's not coming to save us. We have to try to create all this stuff ourselves. But we're also heading into a world of the diversification of media – the fact that, you know, cable TV is going away, but there's definitely going to be an opening for us out there. You know, like enough people are going to love this thing that we all love so much. And we can put out this entertaining and, you know, consumable product because at the end of the day, it's what it is. You know, you're, you're giving something to the world and either do or do not care about it. And that's the most important thing. Stats are a big and fundamental crucial part of that, you know, if you really kind of dive into the nitty gritty of it. So, yeah, it's... it's and that's what, when we spoke, that was, it's one of my big things about the stats and why, you know, the other guy I work with doing the graphics, Jeremy Doan, it's, we, we want it to be in the most digestible way possible. So I don't care if you show your mother, she would look at it and be like, I understand what you mean. Because as players, we get it when it's like, oh, how much do you survive off the break and stuff like that. But if we don't put it in a digestible manner, out to the public it just looks like numbers on a screen to them so to show the positions and how much they went do all that kind of stuff it yeah, really paints like a better it. picture yeah for somebody to understand yeah it's yeah. it's visually attractive because the numbers are like i am not for making because this whole like we need to make paintball so simple that my grandma can understand it that i do not agree with because you know that's not how video games are that's not how you know regular sports are S sam you and i've had this discussion many many times you know, Good luck ever beating like a Legend of Zelda game without one of those books. Yeah, you know what it, I mean? for sure. It, but yeah. that's okay because human <laughs> beings, we also love needless complication. That's what addicts you to certain things. Shows, books, you know, video games and sports, you know, so but 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 as far as it being visually appealing and that's why I like the way you guys are doing these stats, it's incredibly visually appealing. So, yes, someone that does but it helps simplify things. So that's the, it, it's taking a complex subject, putting metrics to it, helping simplify it, helping it make it more digestible. So yeah, yeah it's awesome. It's, I'm big on just the digestible. And even as I, you know, try to create more things, I'm really trying to make it so that we have descriptions written out things, so you know we can bring these items to light. Yeah, and it, it's just like when you're watching uh, the football introduce the AWS, like the Amazon Web Services, like play or like how fast the guy's going. You can see kind of like the heat map of where they're running. Same with uh, basketball. It's like, okay, look at the – this is where they're shooting, the heat map of where they're, they're shooting from. So obviously graphics, everybody's – it's more easy to digest when things are visual. 
True, but the, and then but, you but, can really, and then it then it it reels you in, and then you start looking at oh, hundred percent here, twenty percent here. 30% but they there. have more money than God, and we don't. I'm just, and that's yeah. why I gotta say again, Tim, I had respect we're, to yeah, Sam and we're, Pat. We're and, and, uh, and, and again, we're, when I was talking about Golden Age too, it's like there's so many creators, so many podcasts, so many like grassroots and the regional scenes, and so we are kind of moving into another Golden Age. It's just we gotta all try to collectively harness this energy as much as we can and not eat, eat, eat each other alive, like it happens in paintball sometimes. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Well, guys, um, we appreciate you having us on. We actually have to hop off because oh, yeah. we've got to go over to another show. Um, so we're sorry. Thank you guys for having us. Appreciate it. Appreciate nope. it guys. I, I, thanks for thanks for giving us the <laughs> thanks for giving us the the first first rip and the exclusive. We're gonna, Pat, we're gonna get you one of these uh, Spick and Span show shirts for next time you guys come on. Um, but uh, we're we're PTG. Uh, look, look, we got a PTG sticker right there too. So we feel you. We feel you. Yep. Right, yep. Yeah, boys. <laughs> hey, you guys are crushing it. Thank you for your yes, efforts. You Thank you, guys. All Peace. right. Right on. Shout out to those boys from the. They're doing great, man. We're That's off. the type. That's what we need. That's the type of stuff we need. Yeah, you know, and and I can, I'm a visual guy. Like I think I think you know, and I know we have a bunch of people just tuning in, and I'm gonna bring up their page here again just so you guys can see it. But like. This is their Instagram, paintball stats, uh, paintball underscore stats. What they're doing is really cool. Marcelo, here's Marcelo's kind of, uh, his heat map's not as exciting. Well, it's more exciting than mine because he went to <laughs> one more spot than I did. These are off the break, though. Off this the is break. Off the, yeah, okay. this Wait, is off the break. Wait, he went to one it's, more? It's I think you, you had more. No, I have, look, here. here's the Greenspan. No, this is, green this is Greenspan. Is, is this is as boring as it gets, dude. Yeah. I wrote a well, nice thing on that you. did shoot out of the left and the right hand side. The left and the right. I feel like I went to the center tower one time. I feel like but, you went... To the you this, didn't go to the laydown. So I stood in this little open, you, you I think, the open and then maybe too. I maybe I dove. In, I thought maybe I did. I don't know. I mean, I watched most of the points you played. Again, this is pretty much where I went. That is, this is where I went. But right you would here. pause and then and launch. Though. Yeah, You'd shoot your, yeah, your shoot, your lane shoot, and, and then, then go. Yeah, yeah, give me a little blind zone yeah. love there. That would be cool too. And again, another thing too is they Dude, just they just started yeah. this and they and and having talked to both Pat and Sam oh, we can't for a long period of time. um just kind of about their concept and you know just having done paintball stats before i just love where their head's at on it i think it's a really cool thing but they're but they are going to continue to evolve this so it's like okay when you're looking at these heat maps Look at this. this is the heat map for off the brick right so yeah arturo but then you also could potentially morph that uh graphic and make it so that you have a you know this is off the break, but then leading into secondaries or tertiary yeah a little moves. little like little arrows in yeah, which directions totally. they went like There's you dove into this shot cool there possible jazz angles because be this snake temple was an, another one like right here where where uh where it'd be it would be kind of like right up here the snake temple did you go in there and immediately play heads up or did you go in there and look across yeah you know because yeah. that was like a big big factor in or that percentage position. of time spent looking one mm -hmm. way would also be too this is gonna be great for you guys' uh um scouting too well. yeah <laughs> well what's funny too is when i do scouting when i'm coaching i always because i think that a lot of the younger guys don't really know how to look at that scouting sheet mm -hmm. they're just like nonsense so i I do that on the map and I draw their percentages of like, if I have, you know, three games of data, I compile it. I'm like, they went here 17 out of 19 points. They went here three out of 19 points. And then I will like circle the main areas. Like, like as you're playing this match, expect them to be in these zones and potentially here. Yeah. So yeah. it kind of paints them a picture. Yeah. Um, it's, it's great for predictive analytics and also just entertainment as well too, as far as, well, and that, and that's what, my that's you, my favorite thing about it. Right? What are you gonna see? You know? Yeah, and and that's and that's probably that's probably my favorite thing about what they're doing is is it makes the it like obviously this isn't in well they can they can compile the data in real time it won't look as pretty and neat as that but like I could see this being a subscription service that other pro co coaches would be like dude if you're gonna get if I'm gonna if this is gonna help us out to scout and I don't have to fly in an extra guy or two or trust some you know kid that i just taught how to do this like that's that creates real value in in getting that type of data in real time so you know who you're playing against because obviously we do all that stuff and we've got thank you junior and, and and thank you skinny dude for sitting out there and in the bleachers for 12 hours a day you know like just soaking in the rays uh <coughs> like yeah. that's a that's a lot of data collecting that they they have to get done and it's not easy to do all the time yeah yeah I mean, li my lips are chapped just saying all that <laughs> just thinking about what they have to go through should we get this special guest on 
Yeah, yeah. You want to cue? You want to cue it up right there, um, real quick. Uh, as we're getting our next guest on, uh, I want to go over. We're gonna be giving away a bunch of stuff today. Uh, Gen X Global and Arfon, you guys. Uh, there's a link down in the show description below. They've got pod deals going on for everybody who's headed out to the Dallas event. There's pod. You can just get it anyway if you just live in Texas. Just order yourself some new pods. Get some freshies with a pod bag. Uh, uh, link in the description below. Go to uh, genxglobal.com. Uh, also, big shout out to Paul and Matrix Gear um, for all of your support throughout. Uh, since we started the show, man, Paul has been our our, our guy, dude. He's been supporting the show forever. Uh, we're still gonna get some shirts made for you guys. Some new ones, pretty funny ones that Kyle designed uh, that are that are on the way, and we'll get those in the giveaway pile. Uh, then we've got uh, JT. At GI Sports, um, mm-hmm. we uh, we just practiced last weekend. Uh, we had some of the dynasty ball shot really good, and we're getting some real nice stuff this weekend. I was always, I mean, I don't know if I shout out to the dynasty paint. I, that's some that paint's it was, good. It was flawless. Always. Yeah, it, that stuff is really good. It's like a it's like a four star ball. Um, Does it smell br- like bananas? And it smells like bananas. It smells like bananas. That's yep. We got we lucked out at ours too because we brought some paint home from the like the tournament paint. Uh-huh. and then we also had evil so i was like yeah so, you know and it and it's such a big it's such a big difference uh when you because i i practiced with lousy paint and you're just like ah, this is so frustrating um and even you know our paint was a little bit harder than normal just because it was 43 degrees in the cool. morning and then it warmed up to 75 so it's like at, in the afternoon it's going to be a little little tougher but man it's so important to have good paint uh obviously at the tournament but when you're practicing, because if you can't hit anything and you're trying, or you're trying to do drills, you know, and you just kind of like went cheap on the paint, and you're like, I can't hit any of these cones. It's like, what's the point? Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Um, so, so big shout out to to the boys over at GI and JT. And then uh, June first and second, GG Sports is having event number two. So make sure you guys check them out and uh, and uh, show some support out there. I think I think they've got. Uh, I think the registration's already open. We're gonna actually probably be out there. Maybe this summer. All my travel plans are on. It. Not too sure. He's we're a brand a, new dad, dude. He's got twins. They're not even home yet. Like we, we, uh, he has no idea about any how I is. I'm in a out. holding pattern yeah. on exactly figuring. We don't out. even know if he's gonna be in Texas yet. I don't know if I'm gonna be in Texas yet. I'm pretty news, sure. So news I was, flash. We spent we spent the day we spent the morning today uh, with uh, with the boys. Uh, every day we go over there. We got to drop off milk. Um, except for when, on the weekends when I'm playing, I can't. I don't get a chance to go over there. Um, they're they're big. Uh, Parker's six pounds now. Oh wow, he's already six, dude. That's rip it. That's mm. a good sign. I gave him a back today. It's a good sign. Not a good sign for you to go to Texas, but a very good sign. Well, I think they're gonna give them both to us together. Oh I think. really? And Miles is yeah, four pounds Miles? four ounces. Parker was way bigger. Parker size, was. So. I think he was. He was born at four eleven, and then Miles was three three, mm. so a pound and, and change, a mm-hmm. uh, pound and a half. And change Watch difference. Miles be bigger, than and then Parker well, that's what a lot of them say, yeah. And yeah. then they lose weight once they're born, and then they're then they're coming up. Everything's healthy; they're 100. percent This is par for the course for the type of twins that we had. So, uh, so I appreciate everybody. Also, um, what's really cool, and I think I mentioned it to a handful of people, but like so many people have reached out, like, hey, you know, my kid was in the NICU, I was in the NICU, uh, my wife was in the NICU. Yeah, and yeah. it's like such a normal thing. And I was mentioning it on the show or somewhere, talking to somebody, Maddie, and like, you know, we grew up in the 80s where like the only the only like understanding of a NICU baby or a premature baby is like in the don't do drugs commercials. Yeah. So you always think like, oh, the only reason the only yeah, reason yeah. you're in the NICU is because like the, something's wrong. someone smoked or you yeah. know was smoking no. cigarettes and drinking booze the whole time <laughs> no. um, and partying. Well, that's not the case. That's like actually a very normal thing. So yeah. I mean, I think that should be just the standard for having a kid at all because you get to go home like at least like a week they yeah. don't do it that way bro no i know but <laughs> way to be that, that would be that would be yeah, nice you like nice. get a you get a vacation after nine months you get one yeah, week vacation yeah, and then vacation. you're back on back uh-huh. on job i like to think that every day for camille is a vacation i'm gonna fire every this day off. Is, you would like to think every day is mother's day for camille, <laughs> in our house in our house all right we're gonna jump over to the nectar projector special then, guess you didn't have yep. uh it saved so i guess it'll be a... uh, yeah i didn't yeah you're like I, I have his number so i was like oh maybe i don't know who it is there but, he is there we go uh, all right, our favorite uh, shit what talker, that? <laughs> our favorite that's a, lawyer. That's a, hor- that's a horrible way to start this call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to spend my time in positivity. Ryan said it. We didn't say it. it was dude, Ryan. dude, gosh. golly, I was thinking. You know what's so funny? I was just thinking about you uh, the other day, or maybe 
maybe it was just well maybe not the other day but when maddie was like hey um is there any way we can get your logo this logo put up and i was like man we need to get him back on the show again because uh it's fun to listen to like someone with a real southern like yes Twang. If you think I'm, if you think mine is twangy now, you should have heard me like 2012. Mark <laughs> <laughs> uh, D twang, the twang. Well, I think it's because it's because, uh, and everybody, for those of you guys who don't know, this is Pate Smith uh, from Pate Smith Law, um, uh, long time uh, speaking span show fan. Actually, this is his favorite online, uh, uh, you know. It's actually my favorite Getaway. online use of time. Use of time, yeah. I was kind of trying to figure out how to package I don't even that. Sign into Google. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. The only reason I go into my computer is two things: emails and Spick and Span Show. Um, no, I, st- I stopped electronic uh, communication. I don't know, probably oh eight oh nine. Right when you right when you got rid of that twang. I'm actually, yeah. I've been talking to Pate for like last month because we're trying to work on something, and I he was like, "Did you come up for a name for the episode?" And I was like. Yeah, I was thinking uh, maybe laying down the law, and then he just wrote, I like that, and I was like, no, you don't, because when I send you something, like a design, you're very more enthusiastic than I like that, and he's like, damn, you got me, you're observant, you'd be hell to date. Dude, I'm not date Kyle, are you kidding me? The fact I put I like that, and Kyle literally initially like reads me perfectly, Mm-mm, there's no hiding from that. Yeah, I was like, come on, don't bullshit me. So, uh, so yeah, we wanted to come on. We had big news. We wanted to announce the winners. Uh, so, move of the prelims is Grayson Gladstone. Grayson Gladstone. I think he's. I think he's watching right now. Congrats, Grayson Gladstone. Yeah. Grayson, shoot me a message on the gram. Yeah, he earned it come too. On. Can I just give a little breakdown of that move real quick, Pete? Uh, do you okay. think? I think I might. Oh, I wish I would have known. I would. I think I might have I it. Did so tell I, Kyle. Was, I, I was. I was. I didn't. Know. We were kind of short on time there, but. Uh, I can try to screen grab it real quick. No, I, I well, might I might have it in a... Well, as you're doing it real quick, yeah, let me okay, just talk okay. through it. Let's, okay? let's, so yeah, give me, so give me. here's this, this situation for Grayson. Now, there was a lot of... There was a decent amount of flashy moves out there. Um, I typically weight things towards moments and difficulty. Uh, and so after Math had lost their first two games on Friday, they were in dire need of a good performance, and they needed two wins and two big wins. They start out point number one against New York Extreme, and it, things are going bad pretty quickly for them. They're starting to lose bodies. It's definitely looking like, I mean, I think at one point, one of us on the broadcast was like, yeah, this should be an easy point here for New York Extreme. Cause it was Do you looking, know what day it was? It was day, Saturday, game, uh, Saturday, uh, New York Extreme versus uh, ASG Aftermath, point number one. Um, and so, again, it's the very first point. And it's just looking absolutely terrible for after that. Like, it's one of those, like, almost throwaway points, you know, where you're like, oh, this is, you know, you're watching, you're like, oh, this is it's going to be 1-0 for sure. And uh, and then Grayson, um, who was on the D side, everyone else is dying, and he wins a heads-up gunfight against Jerry Carl, uh, dips into the snake, gets a kill cross field, and then gets in a, not a super lengthy, but a, like a legit one-on-one, like Thomas knew where he was. He had to win a one-on-one against paintball legend Thomas Taylor. has been doing this for 22 years uh for a one on three and it was uh it was awesome dude that was i I thought the most as far as level of difficulty and the pressure of that moment because if he doesn't they go down 1-0 or 0-1 and they are after losing their first two games on day one like that who knows you know like in some other universe that could have been it but they ended up making a sunday and take four i just want to point one really cool thing out was how quickly i was able to uh never mind how awesome your screensaver is well what just happened there well Well, you might have uh it might be did you full screen it no i don't know what i did it's over it's i think it's hiding you might have to put your uh four fingers and slide oh my gosh what just happened i was just giving myself total props you just you you commentator jinx yourself i did i commentator (laughs) jinx myself it was amazing where did this square the screen oh wait what happened there it is all right let's do this again all right so where i what i was saying about myself just a second ago (laughs) is uh all right, let me let me get this thing going here. I think I found it, Matty. I think I found it. I would like to see it again. I've watched it quite a few times, but. Yeah, New York Extreme. Yeah, New York Extreme. Yeah, they, you guys can hear the audio, I believe. Aftermath in the red on the blue side. Another body dropping for aftermath from that back center. Another one out of the snake. This is definitely going to be a point for Extreme. Yeah, definitely going to be a point for Extreme. Nick in pretty solid control right now. 
So oh. you just shot out Jerry. Grayson, though. Grayson gets the kill on Jerry Carl, and he might be able to turn this around. Dude, he has the side a, completely to himself. There's no one in front of him. And this is how this wheel plays. You. It starts out heads up, and then it twists <laughs> Dude, sideways. You can kind of do that right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great, great, great point, Maddie. Great point, Maddie. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Maddie. Yeah. 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 Anytime a guy has a So, yeah, so he shoots bro, Jerry, gets the crossbow kill, and then Thomas is like, what is happening? So he comes over there. Dude, Grayson's been playing some really good paintball lately, and what I like about what Grayson does, which most of the aftermath guys don't do. Oh, he cyclops is Thomas Taylor. So Grayson Glasgow ah! pulled off a one on three Dude, what situation. What a point, man! I mean, that was Sheesh. yeah. So that's the that's the prelim one, um, and I mean, I don't know if we can call Grayson in at some point. That would be if he's listening. We probably should call him in. Um, Dude, yeah. uh, if you think about it, uh, Grayson also just didn't skip out on the event the day before like uh, Chris Sherrod did. So <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, he texted text the other day. He was like, "Are you guys going to Dallas?" And I was like. Yeah, bro, we were at Vegas. Like, are you going to Dallas? Like... <laughs> Do you have beef with Chris Shear? Because, like, you're a lawyer, he's a lawyer, you're both paintball guys. Is there, like... It... We, have, like the, we have, like, the reverse of beef. Ah. So it's, like, a bromance? Yeah, you got, like, a bromance it's... going on? Uh, no, but, like, he and I, uh, yeah, like, both own firms and both get pitched a lot of the same... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. like garbage from vendors, and we kind of talk about that. And then he's a plaintiff's attorney. I'm a plaintiff's attorney. I do some work where he is, and so uh, I'm hoping I hadn't got a case lately. But the next one, um, do a couple in the Carolinas together. That'd be fun. But yeah, no, I love uh, love the fact that he does that. Wait, where you can just wait, where are you? Where do you live? I live in Texas. Oh, okay. So how? But you can just go to the Carolinas and. Well, let, well why don't we? Hold on. Expl well, hold hold on. on. But I don't want to steal your thunder real quick. But we got to say what you do, though, so people like. Yeah. If, if you're, if so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You so, get to, uh, give uh, give me your pitch. To, yeah, so I'm licensed in Alabama, but I work with a lot of attorneys throughout the country, um, and all I do exclusively is represent building owners, so houses, uh, farms. Um, commercial structures, apartment complexes, etc. I guess we do other things. Like I've done, um, like I've helped out on a pretty big yacht file before and then a plane once, but it was like a small plane. But um, yeah, and we uh, negotiate with insurance companies. Uh, obviously our goal is to get it uh, resolved pre-suit, but uh, you know, sometimes you got to file a lawsuit and that's what we do. Hail, hurricane, tornado. I've never done an earthquake fire. Um, you said uh, hell or hail? Hell. Oh, like, hell. Yeah, not so Alabama twang. Got you okay, there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like listening um, to him talk. I, I know. I like listening to the Southerners talk. When I was dude. putting his logo in, it sounds I was like, like us out here. Him. Like, I call him yeah. on the phone every now and then, and I'm like, do I just we like, sound funny talk. to you? Do we have yeah, accents to you? It's not your voice. Like Ryan's, you know, like you know, Ryan's. I guess like love for non-tap water you know what I'm like, yeah love he won't drink any other water dude he won't pollute bro, his, his I system didn't drink not out of a water hose until i was like 11 preach <laughs> brother preach <laughs> preach never yeah. got sent to school with a water bottle either it yeah. was just, just yeah. drinking out of the fountain just drinking out of the fountain talk about forever chemicals what do you think those things have? <laughs> yeah yeah i think that teflon wasn't invented until after uh, you got out of school mm. There he's not a, that old, bro. Crazy, oh, he's not. Uh, Teflon lawsuit. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, like that was one of the big mass torts. Mm hmm. Or mass actions, I guess, at the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, yeah they're, they're, DuPont Film is in trouble. I guess we got to hit up the dude that on the Russians that won um, Move of Sunday. Yeah, you're dude. right, Pate. We got to hit up the the dude on the Russians for sure. Yeah, I'm actually. I was. We were talking about it. It's going to be interesting to see how the Justice Department feels about you <laughs> transferring <laughs> money to a Russian bank account. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that or not, but we'll let the law decide that, I guess. <laughs> we can talk to ask no. Damien. Damien might know. Let's ask Damien. Yeah. yeah, let's have the sheriff. I had to do it, like, one of the first times for... Uh, it was from Malloy. Went, yeah, from Malloy. And, dude, that was... It was a little bit of a... Uh, it was a little bit of an ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. But, Sorry, uh, dude. No. I, he had the best move. I had to give it to him. I, no, I, I, I apologize. I made it hard for you. Yeah, so. Wait, who won it? Ryan. Oh, Ryan Greenspan. You're welcome, For what? Dude. 
best move of the event. You want you get Our the thousand bucks. No way. Yeah, you, you get the thousand it. bucks. Way. And uh, oh yeah, and was we got some more news, right? Eight? Hold on, wait. How did I win it? Well, we, okay. Well, let me break it down. I don't know if we can pull that point up. So tournament is on the line. It's in the finals. You guys are down by two. There's three minutes and nine seconds left. You shoot four dudes uh, with about. Well, the point ended with, I think, a minute and 10 seconds Bro, left. you one to... ball the back center? Yeah, you shoot the back over. center, you shoot it the back corner, like and then run the, the next two dudes down for a four-pack with a minute and 10 seconds left. If you don't make that move, Dynasty loses the tournament. You guys will be down by three with a minute and 10 seconds left. Maybe, maybe. I mean, you guys have had some historic comebacks, but that kept you guys in the game, and after watching every single play on Sunday multiple times, that was the most impactful singular performance from any human being. And it looked pretty good too. Damn, dude! Thanks. You think it's in this when part. You the money? Back center, uh, when I was watching, I was watching it. I was actually in the shower watching it because Justin Bailey, that's in the her, her <laughs> That's exciting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Played played with me on Katana. Bailey. So like I'm really watching good. it. I'm like, come on, like I was like so hoping for Bailey. Like Bailey winning that, we'd prop. Like if Bailey if Bailey won Vegas, we'd still be in Vegas now. Thirty. 30 something minutes but <laughs> dude when you in like checked on the inside like just quick and then somehow put two balls and like call Rigel's mask it was nuts <clears throat> yeah and also he's shooting dudes that have been playing like <clears throat> bailey all like all the dudes he's shooting these guys are balling out all weekend long mm -hmm. you know i mean you're not shooting it's not like on friday and you're playing the 20th ranked team so here but more back this is that's I, the end of the point right there because okay. yeah it's two four there's a minute and five left here, I, I can, I can, uh, I can, I'm sure I have stream highlights. Um, but yeah, the, this well, is coming up. And then if you go to, there's, uh, we did a whole series of replays about it, but it's, it's basically, it starts right, right here. Okay. And a Alex does, you're going to have to buy Alex dinner or something. Cause Al first of all, Alex Frazier played his goddamn ass off at this event. He did, dude. But he, he, him getting into the position that he got as many times as he did, a lot of times playing on an island over there was incredibly oppressive for a man with his back at his age. Um, say. Do you want me to screen grab this and try I can, to send uh, it to you? Or is it might, two to four? Or that might. Is it two to four? I, I, have, I have it right here. Cause a destructive Don't crash do that. Again. Don't do that. I can, I can pull it up right here. I think this is it. Is this yeah, it? This is it right here. Yep. See, I want to. Well, this is the end of it. You oh, already the end got of it. the other. You already. You okay, this is the end of it. Do you think that, that you guys replay? But Pate also. There's, there's a series the, of pretty sweet replays. The other surprise. Yeah, there's another surprise. Is Pate had me get you a gift. So I got you a gift. But I'll grab I can. Ex I was gonna like this off, but I don't want to clean this up. Do you want to fire it off? Let's see what happens. Do you think it's like really big? Um... Can we get a horn for yourself? I did. I just did. I just. Oh, I, just I just. I just. I just confetti it. Canyon. You want to do that? Don't be. Bullshit. It's not like fifty-two pickup. It's gonna be like five hundred. You gotta. You pickup. gotta make it like. Bro, a... you have a kid. Think of how good of an opportunity for this is to make a dollar. Yeah, Sloan. Yeah, fire yeah, it off, yeah. dude. Sloan. But you got to do it like. Pickup. Yeah, I already did it with Monty, and he's right, like. Let me two find which way Sloan. is up. So and I don't let me fire let me this find uh let me find lap. this. <laughs> dude, that would be bad. I've seen. Don't look. Like don't look into it. And don't point it directly at anybody's head. That's the that's the big key I think here is don't point it at anybody's face. Once twisted, colorful paper will shoot out of the cannon five to eight meters. So I, I, five <laughs> to eight meters. <laughs> it's about to get a little crazy in here. Five to eight meters. Five to eight meters. It's gonna put a hole in the roof. Do you think it's flammable? Uh, Has anybody done this before? My name is ideal for. Hold on, door. I'm gonna get. Uh, Should I give you your gift? Jesus, dude, point that the other I way. I know, no, it's oh, not. It's like a loaded gun, Kyle. It's like a loaded gun, Kyle. You said five to eight meters, dog. You're just putting that right at my head, like half a, you know, I'm one meter away. I'm a professional paintball player. I know how to. <laughs> 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 it's here a very professionally run situation Here's here. Your gift. Doghouse Studios. Pate. Wow, Pate, dude, thank you. That's so funny. I was saying when when I was putting your logo in, I was like, I was like, dude, we need to get Pate back on the show because he's a he's a good time. He's fun. He's funny. Um, oh, we got a little champagne. champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that, dude. The I wife is gonna be so pumped. Gonna say the Pop it now, but Camille's gonna love that. Dude. No, because well, so I don't I don't drink uh, for the two weeks leading That's up to the kind event. Of so, we but like, on. Oh, no, look at that Dude, she just had twins. You thought yeah. that's for you? No, yeah, <laughs> dude, she is she is ready. I'll tell you what. When I show her these, and this is a beautiful, lovely bottle. Thank you very much. This is I Justin's picked that good. out. He this didn't pick nice. that out. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. This is a good, beautiful. Yeah, Justin's a good one. Justin's good. 
that's a good one. I know, one. I know. Yeah. 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 And then I got I got this uh No, that one's not shirt. yours. That will show the bottles in Clank. That's my shirt. Oh, like, one it. of my favorite shirts. You can't steal that. Um, well, thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Thanks, Pate. All right. Yeah, dude. And Kyle and I uh, are working on a... Um, this new paintball brand it's abd it's anybody but dynasty and we're gonna like sell it and we think it'll be huge with the other pro teams you know, it'll be huge with winning. the other pro yeah, anybody, teams anybody anybody winning but you guys so we, we just know that there's a built-in market for that hey i'll tell you what i love the dynasty whoa oh. it's a celebration congratulations God ryan i felt like i just had to just i can't hear i can't hear that was really anymore. good Wow, oh, man, I'm I was, glad that you lit it off. Yeah. That was, thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. Um, um, yeah, that no, great. that's actually Steve Kwan, Axbam. He's had that for a while. He hands me uh, explosives or sometimes I don't know what's going to be in the case, but he's always filming it, so I think something's going to explode. Um, but, uh, no, that was cool. Thank you, guys. I appreciate um, that. But, babe. yeah, I know I support your brand because uh, when I have to do these hype reels, um, like Sunday, 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 make sure you check out what's going to go down at the next event. Uh, it's just mostly, it's like, I have to start with, and Dynasty is still kicking everyone's ass right now. It's <laughs> Dynasty still at the top there. 85 years old, but still whooping that ass. That's kind of how I have to almost have to start every hype reel. This is a great idea. Right here. Now that you've won move of the event, you've won gold barrels, you've won like everything, dude, you should retire right now. This is, <laughs> this is, this is a good be one. the moment right well, now. I, I would have actually announced my retirement, except Kyle just blew the popper so next time we have another one in here oh, okay. the confetti yeah, i'll be yeah. like ryan you retire, retire pop yeah um yeah. you know i i uh yeah i don't know I, I appreciate it thank you um for that offer on on my retirement maybe if it was a watch in there or something like, like not really really watch. Can, can we start texting around and see if i can get the other teams to put up some cash to <laughs> see if we can get that like a buy know, him like out seven, yeah like 750 uh per Match you sent out per team. I don't know. Per, like by the end of the year, you're probably doing pretty good. They don't pay. Like, I'll come back. <laughs> um, you know, and I want to say like, look, uh, those the Hurricanes guys f crushed it, and it was like if we were to lose that, I would have been like, you know, I mean, you almost did. We're <laughs> that's you deserving. Don't make this, right? if you don't make this move. That I'm. But but here's the thing. Like I didn't do really any miraculous shots. I was just shooting at guys, and then guys got shot. Like when I no no when I shot who did I shoot out of the snake corner? Uh, my, might have been Rigel. Yes, it was Rigel. Yes, yeah, I don't yeah, I don't Stu, have Rigel. that point. I, I think I have that somewhere on here. But like he was playing like the snake wasn't hot. It wasn't like I had to make this no, incredible no, 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 shot. Before I shot video, dude. If you watch, he's like he's. He goes to set up and post on you and then snap out, and that's when you got me. It's what it looks like. Oh, like the like ball's in the, in the air. Yeah. Man, I yeah. remember it seemed like a big button. Is it button. this right well, here? Well, this is this shot right here. I'll, I'm going to show. I'll, I'll cue this one up. So this was, and I could hear his gun because he was battling with Marcelo here. Um, this is Bell's. This is Bell was fighting with Marcelo, and I'm like, I'm just thinking in there, don't fuck up, don't fuck up. And then all of a sudden it was like, so that was easy. Bell gets diced up by Greenspan. Greenspan is clocked in right now. I mean, dude, you shot four guys with a minute and eight seconds left, down by two in the finals against a team that's never won a tournament. It's just like the one of the most important things they've ever done in their lives, other than have their kids or get married or graduate from college or get their first big like contract, whatever, dude. Like I'm just saying, you stole, you crushed these dudes' dreams. Like you, I understand, I appreciate. That then, you, I I understand turn. why you're saying. Okay, kill, but look, you get the kill in the corner, can. so you shoot Rigel, and then and yeah, then Bell was getting a little greedy on a wrap, and you made him pay. Um, but you it just like Bell's gun wasn't working there. And if you watch it though, no, he was shooting his gun. That's how I knew. That's how I knew he was rapping. And then oh, I don't, I don't Bailey, know that. and then poor Bailey, shoot him in the back of the head on purpose. I did not shoot him. Yeah, I think he should be out for blood at the next one. I can barely breathe. Another reason you need to be sitting out. Malicious intent. Yeah. Dude, and look, I'll tell you this: those those nine different positions that Arturo played. I mean, between this this event, I could see you guys giving the MVP to Arturo or even Archie. Maybe give me the final one. Well, but no, like... but here's the thing about... No, this was in the finals. If you don't win that point, then no matter what Archie or Arturo did... Again, Archie and Arturo had some huge moments. Mm -hmm. You don't get a team to the finals without right. a lot of guys contributing. But how we weight the MVP is its most valuable player. So if you did or did not exist in that moment, if you don't exist in that moment and do the things you did, then Dynasty doesn't win that tournament, you know? So it's like, and then also it's like what type, because if you go back, if you go and watch the rest of the comeback, more of a team effort, you know? Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and again, you had a two pack in the, 
uh, in the overtime point too, but you know, just yeah. a two pack. But whatever, whatever. It was like I've done a lot of, dis- I've had a decent amount of discussions with leaders of teams, and it was one of those things where we're, you're going through things, and everyone was like, "Jesus, Ryan, was fucking really good at that last event, bro." You know, it's mm-hmm. like, damn. You know, so just take, thank you, take the Thank w, you, thank you. I'll take the you know, W. Take the I appreciate w, that. It's for the boys. You know, you could throw your back out tomorrow. And <laughs> dude, I feel like know. my back is thrown out, dude. <laughs> I haven't even started lifting kids yet, and I, my uh, my yeah. back is thrown out. You're gonna have two wild ass boys running around here in a little bit. But no, I was it was uh, it was even at the remember at the baby shower and we were like, bro, you played really good. And he's yeah. like, I don't really think I did anything special. Which again, I I appreciate. Again, I, I I mean, I just was there but, in the spot. But that's but like, that's the thing. When it was you, an easy when snake you play to make. for 22 years, and you're with your type of headspace and understanding of the variables, it's like you're going to be putting yourself in the right position the majority of the time and you have that shot that you've now been practicing for half your life or more than half (laughs) your life two-thirds of your life so yeah it may seem like clockwork when you're watching it or when you're doing it because it is in a sense but for everyone else that's like when you watch kelly slater rip a wave like yeah it's clockwork for him but bro it's double overhead there's a little he just retired yesterday did he really yeah yeah let's say wrote that too how crazy it was watching was um the match before the like the semifinals when y'all won um i was having a beer with ian that plays for shot kids um and he was we were talking about how you looked like you um one of my favorite events like i really how uh when people ask me talking about how to play like a two but playing the one um where you and kyle were playing the snake side and it was either at psp dallas or psp chicago there was a stand-up can in the corner i can remember that i've watched this uh, video a lot uh, because of like how y'all were pl- like the communication between you and Kyle in the corner and the snake but you look like you then and I don't know that's what what a decade younger <laughs> <laughs> yeah in eight years at least yeah, yeah. seven dude tight <laughs> yeah that's right yeah, well you know. 2015 or something like that 2014 yeah. But I'll tell you, everything went down for Hill with me, really, in life, as far as like, being able to do stuff. That first year, I had my twin. So I, don't <laughs> I don't know that I'd expect. Is that why you're gripping onto that, that safety pillow so tightly? <laughs> no, dude, I was sitting here hold, holding. If you saw like what I've got going on to hold this uh, my phone up right now. So I was going to use a safety pillow, and then I was like, okay, I can. But I've got it sitting on a... Uh, on a suitcase, and I've got the suitcase held by two chairs. Yeah. So we got a lot. We got a lot of action. Well, I'll here. tell you what. You look good. Yeah. Because I don't know the, the phone. You got the, the, you got the iPhone 19 right now, the, bro. It's looking dialed in right now. The 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 nectar projected the screen that we've got looks good. This yeah. is as futuristic as you can really. Because we've done the Skype thing on computers, and we've done the the what's the other one. It's got a zoom. zoom. You are yeah. definitely slowly upgrading Doghouse Studios here because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the first time I did your show, COVID era, it was not nearly as evolved as it is. No, was. no, this is great. Look at how many screens we have. We, we got a confetti, confetti machine. Yeah. We got a, confetti we've got a confetti machine. machine. Yeah, multiple. Yeah. We should get a fog machine. You guys machine. are basically sure. Johnny Carson. You've got champagne on set. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. I'm going to put it up next to the McAllen that we have back there. You got some McAllen in yeah, here? You're holding out on the good stuff? I am, I am, I am. Dude, ne- right sick. after after the event, oh, it looks like we're it's drinking. Dusted, it's though. a little low, but we'll, we'll get some <laughs> We still haven't cracked that Gary Bomb. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, oh the, God, the, the Gary, Gary Bomb. Bomb. That <laughs> was the best two dates dick and fan joke. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> the Gary the Bomb. Gary Bomb. <laughs> he's oh, just saying Gary Bomb. I'm and I like I like him mad. He's like, no, that's not what I said. Did I say it? No, you were like, no, it's not. A Gary Bomb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. All but that. I said the I joke, and then you're like, "No, that's not what I said. It's a joke." Well, I, I didn't know if actually I, mean, I might have maybe said. Yeah, well, I don't know. Um, Major D, yeah. That. Can I get? Uh, yeah, my wife will have the uh, extra rare steak, and we'll take one of your finest Jerry bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry bombs. Yeah. 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 But I, what's also really impressive too is like, and I wrote that in the paintball stats of you is like how much you do on the back end. Like, there's a lot of good players that don't that are like so committed to just their craft, but you're, you're committed to being like paintball's biggest ambassador, like doing a lot of the back, most of the back end for the show, your other businesses, being a father. It's, it's a lot. And I think that to still be, be like the goat with all yeah, that. Dude, it's impressive. <laughs> it, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, so we, even with the twins, if it's a lot more, you're still probably be good. <laughs> like at least you'll have that because you're, you're so like, you just need Camille to buy in yeah. hard so you just take that champagne be like hey 
Hey, babe. We got some cash, but also a nice gift from the champagne. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, why don't you hold on to this? Kyle and I are going to go to the movies after this. <laughs> and then I'm headed Ryan, to... I'll give you like a line that uh, I no longer use for reasons I'm not going to disclose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to say, yo, I've been with you this long, but I've had paintball that much longer. And like I said, I feel like that's something to try. <laughs> 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 yeah. test I out. used to use yeah. that too, but I don't anymore. Yeah. But I definitely used to use that back in the day. I feel like that's a good one as like cement early on because it lets them know what's up, but it doesn't really work. Um, well, Ryan's in it. We gotta pay. We gotta pay bills, so I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, 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 works dude. on the weekends. Yeah, yeah dude. Right. Go work on the Papa's gotta go Kids. earn. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Things get go different earn. when you start clicking filing jointly. All of a sudden, the same uh, <laughs> same lines don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. Um, oh. Well, I, I, I really, truly appreciate it. Um, this will this will definitely be a more uh, an easier pill to swallow for her now. I'll be like, hey, babe, but I just put a thousand bucks at the last one. Yeah. yeah. You know, like Can maybe I could do it again. It yeah, we have yeah, wine, we champagne. Nothing. Dude, yeah. we got wine, we got champagne to drink when I get back home. Or if you want to drink it right now, take it. Yeah. 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 Uh, I feel like I'm old. I don't know if I'll be, how long I'll be able to do this. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm good. This might be the last time I'm good. Uh, most people think, uh, you know, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've used the once in a lifetime opportunity way too many too times many time. for the same opportunity. Yeah, this is like a once in a Next lifetime. Year, opportunity. She's like, I don't seem like a yearly yeah, opportunity yeah, to yeah, me at this yeah. point. So I use it when the McRib comes out. I'm like, hey, yeah. this is the last. This one. is the last one. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I can shit. easily say that I've never eaten a McRib. Are there bones in the McRib? No. I've actually uh, only had one McRib, and it was like 20 years ago, and it was so bad that uh, I've never McRibbed again. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a good one, though. Uh, yeah, that's a that's I've a McRibbed as well, but it was long, long ago. I don't that's a that's a good like, nugget. It tasted like, like really bad barbecue sauce. I can I guarantee. Like has anybody nice. watching this uh, had a McRib? I just had Olive Garden the other oh, guys, weekend too. Guys, that guys, was pretty bad. The whole paintball thing. I was thinking about this. How good of a show would it be if you took professional play paintball players and had them compete against like non-professional people? So that one of the episodes would be cool. Is I would like to see my wife go against Harris Hussein in a CrossFit competition. Harris Hussein in a CrossFit competition? Yeah, dude. Professional athlete versus just a stay-at-home mom. Who's gonna win? Well, how much? I mean, does MK CrossFit it up like? Hardcore on the reg. Listen, bro. She's. Just, I don't know. I don't keep up with. You know. What I'm saying. I just. She does her. She lives life. She. Uh, she exercises. I don't, know, I don't keep up with what she's doing. You know what I'm saying. That'd be weird. Are they gonna crossfit it up and then play paintball? Is she gonna? Does she play paintball? Are they playing paintball? She does. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She does. Have you Have you checked in with MK about this? All, I, your concept Not on already. The football side, but I think uh, MK. You know. You know, just in an exercise off, I, I, I'd go with her. I'd, I'd, I'd take her in an exercise off. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, if cardio was a uh, part of that, um, she would probably dust Harris because he doesn't seem to be the most cardio-esque dude. But he's a bigger strong guy. He's probably pretty squats. strong. Mm -hmm. He's probably pretty probably strong. Pretty strong. He's probably pretty and once strong. he gets moving, it's hard to slow him down. Hey, she's raw on the squats. I do know that. I've do seen you... her do that in the deadlifts. Uh you know, probably, probably more than me. At least more times than me. Do, do you guys want to get Grayson on real quickly? Uh, he is in the chat right now. Um, if you want, Adam. To, Adam, uh, Kyle, do you want to add Grayson? Also, we've got uh, the 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 numbers are in on the McRib. Uh, nasty as hell. Um, and then there's a no way. Yes, it's dog food with barbecue sauce on it. That's kind and, of what it tastes like. Uh, right. Justin London says he has one every time they come out, and they still suck. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. Fool me once. Oh, yeah. I can, I can turn it off for a second. There you go. Go, well, ahead, go ahead and add him on there. There we go. Did you get MK settled down on uh, infringing on our shirt designs? No, bro. She's, <laughs> she's, uh, she's strong on her opinion on that. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lawyer for her husband, too, so that's a good thing for her yeah. and the designs. All but right. Uh, there he is. Yo. Move of congratulations, uh, dude! You're rich. Oh, awesome. <laughs> We're rich. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pete. Thank you, man. Wait, is that a ghost? Is a ghost <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I, that is, I was gonna say the same thing. Do not cross the streams. <laughs> I might buy another one after this. I, I'm a big Ghostbusters nerd, so I got a whole wall of Ghostbusters stuff. Oh, shit. Dude, I loved Ghostbusters growing up. I've seen that movie probably more than any other movie I think ever. Have you seen the new ones? Yeah, dude. I have, I have. Are they any good? Have you seen, seen the one with the uh, lady comedians? <laughs> I Careful. Uh, I Careful. A little more. You're dancing on the eggshells right now. Um... Let me <laughs> burn it, you know, it's just, just burn it alive. You know, it could have been good, but they just, they botched it. Straight shooter, dude, straight shooter. From barely watchable, yeah. Did yeah. you, I mean, did that thing, did that thing just come out of that little ghost Sorry. trap box? Sorry, we're at one more time. <laughs> Did, is that one of the ghosts that you've captured? What is that thing? <laughs> is that a goat? Is that a goat? That a it puppy? looks like a baby goat. It's a, I think it's a puppy. Yeah, it's a little demon dog. She heard me talking. She got excited. Is that one of the demon dogs that sit on the side of uh, the end boss in Ghostbusters? Hey, Zool. This is the Zool. baby. <laughs> this is Zool's baby with uh, yeah. Dana Barrett, Louis Tully. Um, wait, so... Hold on, Brad Mon is a big Ghostbusters fan. Also, I love Ghostbusters. he said Please that Ghostbusters. there's a ghost. The guy, the director of the Ghostbusters, the more recent ones or something. There was a box set, and they didn't even yeah. put in the female version of it. Mm. They put one, two, and three, and then the the the, the, the ice cool, the two new ones, which I guess aren't bad from what I mean, I've heard. Remember, we asked when Dune Two came out, which I still haven't seen, so I'm a little upset that we're going to see that you other movie tonight. When I need to see that. But Rainey said he would rather go watch the new Ghostbusters over Dune 2. I mm -hmm. heard Dune 2 is really good. It's epic. Oh, it, yeah. I'm Dune 2 is um, epic. I mean, as a Ghostbusters fan, like a diehard Ghostbusters fan, <laughs> Dune 2 is better. Like, it's just... <laughs> wow. It's just, yeah. It's a different tier of movie. Yeah. But, I mean, I enjoyed <laughs> Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters, right? It was fun. No one wants to go watch it on me. I'm trying to watch it like every week. Hey, it's right, a, it's, so there's a lot of... Uh, apparently, I'm checking the comments in the chat right now, and there appears to be a decent amount of... Uh, single moms in between the 25 and uh, 35 age range that want to know, are there any other sleeper movies that you love? <laughs> <laughs> sleeper movies. Oh, uh, let me ask my girlfriend the catalog of movies I've drudged her through. Are there any other rooms of your house dedicated to movies? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is it. This is, this is the one room that I nerded out a little bit and then everything else is uh, relatively normal. Can you put the backpack on? <laughs> you can, but I'm not Is it close. a working model? Like, can we capture can a ghost with it is the question. Okay, here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's do a close-up. I mean, I just, so I was in Phoenix Here's yesterday with, and hung out with Vic and Vic showed me his new, his new house. He's got 28 lightsabers. <laughs> 28? 28. I was like, why do you need 28? Like, you're Holy shit, look at this a rebellion thing. Or like, so yeah, bro, like man. this thing, this is actually a, a separate item that comes with it. It detaches and there's lights and sounds. I mean, and like, pretty dope, dope, dude. This thing can launch out. Like, you see these buttons, all these buttons and switches, it works. How much was um, that thing? <laughs> it's an unlicensed particle accelerator is what it is. Here, look, watch this. This would be crazy. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I think the battery is disconnected. Um, here, it it, it, that was, I think it was like four or five hundred bucks because they did a, um, Hasbro did a, a mass production of those last year or two years ago. So it's not like one of the custom $2,000 ones on eBay. Um, but yeah, it was. I mean, again, as a Ghostbusters fan, yeah. that's uh, my. 12 year old self is frothing right now over that amazing collectible that you have I also think it's funny that somebody in the chat was like I mean like people collect paintball guns <laughs> yeah yeah I mean it's pretty it's pretty cool it's very intricate yeah yeah I yeah, will say I, I was like whoa that's pretty sick my my brother is you know he I have an older brother so he tries to torture me about just everything so <laughs> he has pictures saved because I had to try it on when I first got it my girlfriend took videos and you know now it's uh <clears throat> Blackmail evidence. Does it still fit you? Yes. My shoulders, they got a little too big, so it started to slip off. I had to get custom shoulder straps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got too jacked for that thing, dude. 
<laughs> Too much OTL, dude, Patty. Has your brother ever won money uh, from winning a one-on-three before in competition? No. Okay, no, no, well, no, you I, can hold that I, over him at least. I, I will tell him next time we fight, let's do a one-on-three. You pick your two best friends, and I'll get <laughs> on all of them. <laughs> um, what... Uh, what do you what do you attribute the success of Aftermath to currently as opposed to kind of like what you guys have done over the past couple of years? Yeah, um, the one thing that's really cool about this current phase that the team is in is we're, like even just little calls, right? Um, we're starting to build little calls that are layout specific and that's just because we're, we're it's not perfect, but we're more dialed in with the communication that we set last year. So now we're able to add on little last minute stuff. So like last event, we had a, a call where um, there's a zone on the outside of the 50 snake, right? Like we're able to just come up with a call for that and then play off of that communication and build on that type of stuff. So then ideally, as we have that, those calls and that communication, things just flow more seamlessly, right? I mean, what, what you guys have that's perfect is half the time you guys don't even need to tell the other guy to do something, right? He just sees what you're trying to do and he does it. And that's the point where it's not perfect, but we're starting to get there. Um, what was going on in your mind, Grayson, in that situation? You know, it's your yeah. first game on Saturday. You're playing New York Extreme. They're underperforming after a real big year last year. Uh, they need a win, too. Um, you guys are having a disastrous point. I mean, it's like, it's going about as bad as it possibly could go. So much so that I think it was Nick Soviak I had up there, I can't remember who it was, but <clears throat> one of my co-commentators had said, yeah, well, it looks like this point's over. You know, it was like, it was like a wash point. Oh, that was Joey Blue. Oh, so, okay, Joey Blue. So Joey Blue's <laughs> like, yeah, it looks like this is a wash point. And then, um, and then just so maybe just take me into that moment from, but from your perspective, your point of view. You know, like what, obviously you didn't say die and you ended up, you know, sneaking the win off, but that was a huge momentum shift for the team. It's point number one. You guys are in a must win situation. If you lose even one more game, you're out. You guys end up, end up taking fourth at this event. And I, I, one of the reasons I wanted to give you, you know, the award for this one was because then I went back and looked at a lot, a decent amount of flashy moves and a lot of like, you know, two pack, three pack, a couple four pack run. There was like run throughs and there was a couple of low body situations. But as far as, you know, moment importance momentum shift a level of difficulty there's a very high level of difficulty and an incredibly important moment for your team that was just a real you know that you just thrived in so take me to that moment like what was going on in your head in that point yeah so right up the break i uh this event i was playing the two on the d side i lose my front guy chongers off the break running out and just immediately counter and go out to that dorito corner i'm like okay you know Jared Carr was playing pretty aggressively. I got out to the corner. I can keep him at bay so he doesn't just shoot everybody. And I look over to my right, and he shot everybody. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, then, you know, he did exactly what I needed him to do. He just engaged me twice in the same spot. Second engagement, hit my shot, run. And as you can see, I kind of, like, I look over to uh, Hennessy coming into our snake side and it's honestly it was hard to see him because there's a big shadow where he was and I he's wearing a black jersey so I just put some paint there and accidentally bonus balls him because I couldn't even tell that I shot him right away it was, it was that dark right um, and then once I realized that Hennessy was dead I just I honestly just took a breath I was like okay now I know I knew that, that it was already kill two before I shot the other two guys so luckily because I knew the kill count Immediately knew it was a one on one and just took a breath. And I, but did you know where Thomas was? So, for a second, I did, but I honestly, I let him get a little lost for a second because I cared more about my own composure and just getting myself settled because I knew it was a one on one. So, like, even if I lose him for a sec, I'm going to play tight to make sure he just doesn't get the drop on me. Yeah, well, and also, Thomas almost shoots you too when you are up over the top bonus balling Will. Yeah. There's a bunch of spray that comes off that bunker and it looked for a second like he had shot you and you also kind of dodge away from the spray slash stream. So there's just it was one of those it's fun, it's cool with paintball because sometimes if you can need to if you're gonna pull off a low body situation, you need to be really good. You need to have your awareness of the situation as you're just walking us through. 
and you need to get a little lucky and all those things have to yeah. go right all at the same time it, that's why we d really don't see too many one on threes at an event so you know there's 10 sets a day nine sets on sunday that's just the pros i mean i maybe see one one on three every two events one event you know it depends on the layout right but it's a very very rare thing to see anything over a one on two get pulled out and to do it in that that specific moment where your team needed some sort of positive momentum you know talk to me a little bit real quick uh about the that type of like what's it like coming into the pits after being the hero in a moment like that um you know we're a young team, right? So any chance you get to swing the momentum, I didn't really think about it at first, but looking back and watching the game later, everyone just fed off of that, right? Because I didn't, I didn't immediately start talking shit. I didn't like go toot my own horn or anything. I just kind of walked in the pit for a second, and then I went crazy. But like, just the mentality of the team completely changes that moment, and they're like. What that really says, and especially in the pro division, it's not over until it's over, right? So that gives the whole momentum boost and, and confidence boost to everyone that, like, no matter what the time is, no matter what the situation, it's not over. Yeah, 100%. <clears throat> for sure. Um, well, that was, it was, it was just yeah, great, that, dude. It was, that was a big moment for you, big moment for the team. Again, you guys yeah. end up taking fourth and a seventh and a fourth now, and as we're going to get into start talking to some of these stories, but it's, yeah, it's mm -hmm. just, uh, aftermath has one of the more compelling narratives period in paintball with how bad you guys were mid season and how good you've been since cup, uh, seventh at cup. And then coming into this event or last event fourth. And then, you know, even last weekend, <laughs> it's funny cause I go over to the dynasty pits and then yeah. Alex is like, these guys look so goddamn poised. The aftermath looks good. And then I go over to your guys' pit and you guys are just yelling at each other like <laughs> you guys are just trash and it's just a completely shit day. And I'm like, how's it going? Like, oh, it's, oh, we're struggling through a lot over here. And I was like, okay, all right. It's just funny to kind of see the two different sides of the coin in the training. Sorry. Sorry. No, I was saying it's really cool to, uh, too, because um, I don't really know who you are until you got, uh, you were like on Dynasty and then you went back to Aftermath, right? No, you went to Diesel. Yeah, yeah, and then went back, back to After Mountain. So it was like cool to watch you, uh, because um, I told Connor Kelly the same thing. Like watching somebody um, like progress and the way you play, even since like the beginning of last year, is um, like you're dyna You were dynamic then, but you like don't push things unnecessarily now. Is off, you know what I'm saying? And and that's that's pretty noticeable. Yeah, I, I I would say I would say the same thing. Like one of the big <clears throat> factors, and I, I've been saying this to, especially uh, young Brando for for years, and his and his dad Mario is like, someone Brando, on Brando, Trujillo. yeah Trujillo, yeah. but someone on that team needed to like kind of sack up and and be willing to take risks and make mistakes and like press press the envelope. And you kind of came on and and became more of a leader on the team, and and you be, you filled that role, right? Like even in that one, a lot of people in a three on one will just stay in that corner. Yeah. Or they'll stay in that temple and be like, well, hopefully these guys, you play with your fingers crossed instead of like, all right, well, the probabilities of me winning this point <laughs> are very low if I just sit here. Anyway, it's just low no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. So let me let me try to like do something out of the out of the ordinary and like let me try to catch them before they're able to like figure out that it's a three on one and then find me, you know, and I'm a huge fan of that. And that's something that you've been doing really well, especially like these last this whole last last season and just kind of moving forward now is like you're you're the guy that will sting teams or us and practice and like all that sort of stuff and, it, and it's it's such a it's a nice refreshing breath of air that that i think really helps aftermath out but it's like it's good to have a guy on the, you need to have guys on that team yeah like that you know yeah. it's like too many people try to play this no mistake paintball and and it gets them into a really cutthroat small tight window where you're like hoping you're gonna win rather than like dictating the, the outcome yeah ryan what you're saying here <laughs> Yeah, it's something that um, Urena used to get mad at us about when he'd coach us um, that I think is, like, a really good point. It's, like, early in a uh, early in a match when you're down bodies, um, you know, if you're the better team or you think you're the better team, it's easier to go ahead and push right then and either win the point and lose the point than lose three minutes and go down a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the 
I mean, Marcel is going to kill me for saying this, but it's the win fast, <laughs> lose fast kind of mentality and concept. Now, I don't mean when it's five on five. <laughs> it, it, that's a that's a win fast, lose slow kind of thing, or lose yeah. whatever. I don't know how he says it. Um, we obviously we play, like to win we play, slow we and play, lose fast. We play you very differently. The hand, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The players in, in that situation where you're supposed to lose, you don't want to make the coach have to concede and try something. It works yeah. out, it works out, it doesn't, it doesn't. <clears throat> exactly, exactly. Well, um, yeah, congrats, dude, on that. And I, I like I like to see that, that uh, aftermath team, you know, obviously communicating, but growing a pair of nuts <laughs> a little bit more. Well, dude, I, I think that's honestly, there's so many points last week where you guys kicked our asses because just the mentality, right? It's it's like, okay, do you want to sit in this back center and maybe hope to, to lose or, or win a gunfight? Or do you want to try to make a move and make something happen? You guys are playing so much more dynamically. And it wasn't, you guys are just reading and reacting without dropping zones and you're applying pressure that way. And we, some of our, our games where you guys just blew us out the water, we were just kind of sitting there shooting our guns. And then if there's not a move immediately open or it doesn't feel completely safe to go, we just didn't go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Something to keep working on. This well, and you're not really going to win a lot of paintball tournaments like that. You're going to go deep occasionally, but when it comes time <clears> to <throat> pull that miracle play out, then it's just not in the bag it's if not... you're playing conservative all the time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, it. That's it. Moves win games. That's it. Um, well, uh, thank you, Gray, for coming on. We've uh, we've got a Matt, Maddie's got a Maddie's got a big uh, little little breakdown coming up here for. For event two, he wants to jump into. Just wanted, yeah, talk and, about some of the more uh, compelling stories. But you know, you guys were definitely on the list, so yeah. I'm glad that we got a chance to have a reason to touch base with you. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, big practice weekend coming up. You know, we got the event going down in uh, about a week and a half. But yeah, I, and this is kind of one of the situations for aftermath as one of the compelling stories in the league. And there are certain, you know, t- hurricanes are one of those teams. Aftermath is one of those teams. Like if you're, uh, <laughs> his set finally, his finally, uh, fell apart. Um, but it's, if you're a fan of, like if you're a divisional paintball out there, one of the thousands of divisional paintball players, you've got to be a fan of aftermath. You've got to be a fan of the hurricanes. You know, it's, it's just, those are guys that really work their asses off to get to this point where they're starting to get deep on Sundays and are, are starting to be relevant in this top of the tier pro conversation, um, obviously Hurricanes made it to their first finals. Aftermath, has, you know, legendary name, but the current incarnation of the squad hasn't been there yet. But it's starting to get very lethal. You know, you're going to get everyone's best game. So it's like with the Hurricanes, we already know now what they can bring, and now we're starting to know what Aftermath has, and you're going to get everyone's best game. So this is another tier in competition for you guys because everyone's going to be incredibly dialed in on, you know what you guys have done in the past, you're going to get scouted heavily. And, uh, but it's, that's, what's going to make it really fun to watch the aftermath games. Pate, if the hurricanes had beaten us, would we be able to file legal action against them through you? <laughs> Even if you could, I wouldn't take the case. I'd never do anything. It's just available. It was a, it was a, the metaphorical joke. Hurricanes, yeah, get yeah, it? Like it the hurricanes good, damaged, yeah, did damage no, to my no, yeah, property. Yeah, and I call Pate Smith law. <laughs> So the play for the Hurricanes field is uh, actually got hit this week by um, a tornado. Oh, they got hit by a tornado? I don't know. If the, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the uh, field got messed up, but um, I have a considerable amount of contacts uh, and clients in that area, and it definitely got hit with like a gigantic tornado. Damn, Hurricanes field. The Hurricanes got hit the, by a tornado. Uh, oh, the area, the town that they're. Because that's where I'm in. headed to on Thursday. Dude. Oh, no shit? Yeah. Oh, you're heading to New Orleans? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I got a big mediation on Thursday in New Orleans. All right, Dude, come there. on by, dude. Some crawfish for the boys. I'll see what time uh, was popping. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe Probably going to need a little blow off after a mediation. Jesus. It sounds intense. Mm. Um. All right, well. It's been, uh, uh, as to, to pull, take a word out of your playbook there, Pay, it's been oodles of fun um, on this show. I want you to come back regularly. As a matter of fact, pre or post event, once you guys figure out the move of the event, we can have him on every time yeah, that's to great. make the announcement. Yeah, that's great. Um, I, uh, actually, so, oh, Kyle, we got, didn't talk about the layout. That's, so Kyle and I saw the layout. Mm. 
So layout the start station start in the corners at this one. So oh yes, yeah, yes, I heard yes. that too. Yeah. Yeah. I heard did I heard that too. That? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that would be kind of cool. That would be cool. Yeah, it would be like we've done that a little bit before. It was different in Europe when we could start across the entire. Oh, across line. the entire back line. Yeah. yeah, you said you could start anywhere along the back line you wanted. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> one of the Toulouse. Um, I think it was like two thousand. Yeah. I mean, I'm ready to go, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna have my proton pack. I'm gonna be there. Can, <laughs> can you please just look? Look, we're gonna. It's we're, we're wrapping it. It's, it's wrapped up. Maddie's got his notes up. Just go put it on real quick. Put the backpack on. Dude, put the backpack <laughs> on, man. All right, I'll, I'll, you're breaking up. The five. You're not gonna. Well played. Well played, Gray. Oh, well played, Grayson, Grayson. Well played. Well played. Grayson, hit me up on Insta. Uh, Ryan, uh, I'll message you thanks dude i appreciate you yeah. thanks Pate. i appreciate everything you're doing for our for yeah, everybody yeah. thank you it's about damn yeah, time <laughs> later brother <laughs> all right thanks maddie thanks Pate. um well awesome that was cool yeah no it's just awesome it's really cool that what you know pay, like we paintball patrons are important again <clears> as <throat> when we had sam and, and them and we're talking about everyone kind of the calvary's not coming to save us and mm-hmm. we got to circle the <laughs> wagon so i mean pate's a successful lawyer and he's just this was his idea too a couple of years ago and he was like hey i got an idea do can we make this work and i was like yeah let's make, let's make it work you want to give some dude some money yeah we yeah can definitely make that work bro so <clears throat> i mean it adds more work for me but it's definitely worth it in the long run so hell yeah um no i just i don't know before we sign it off i just i just there's i just feel like there's a lot of really compelling stories that are mm-hmm. going on right now that are about to go down in a week and a half um I mean, I don't know. Since we're yeah, let's since talk I'm about on it. your guys' show. Yeah, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put the, the brackets. Or, up. Yeah, put the brackets up. I just. Uh, I mean, to me, since Kyle we might as well just jump into this. You and I have talked a little bit about this. To me, like I feel one of the most compelling stories, and it's I, just because it's Diesel has not had a good run the past year and a half now since its inception. But to me, one of the most compelling stories in the game is Diesel. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like what is Diesel gonna do because. You guys are sitting at the bottom of Legion, Infamous, Notorious, Damage, and Diesel. And Damage also did not do well at the last event. They missed their first Sunday in years. So now you have a situation where Damage is in Tier 4. Legion, who finally looks dialed again uh, with the addition of Justin Rabikoff. They don't have a lot of depth, though. So they're running those same guys over and over and over again. If we get a layout that's aggressive and we're running a ton of points, and if it's hot, 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 they're going to Texas. But they're training for that. And and Hard. they like that, yeah. yeah. And that, that's the style of play they Dude, they really? want to play a lot of points, yeah. but 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 they do not have a lot of depth, you know. So I mean, yes, they have some a little bit of talent on the on the bench, but I mean, if if they look at uh, aftermath, aftermath ran two full lines, pretty much the entire event, whereas if you look at the points played for Legion, it's just the starting five, like the entire time, like with a that's few wild, exceptions. Um, so. That bracket is fascinating to me. Legion, Infamous, Notorious, Damage, and Diesel. Now, Notorious, you know, they lose their coach. They were punching above their weight class at at that last event. And, I mean, it was kind of impressive, man. You know, so, like, there's a lot Mm -hmm. of developing stories in bracket C. But to me, one of the most compelling stories in the entire game is with the roster that Diesel has and having been on, you know, quote-unquote superstar teams before and started off not doing well like i know what it's like and the mind fuck that exists in in that situation um and how difficult that is and this has been going on for a while now so it's like that it's like what does diesel do in texas is one of the most compelling paintball stories period right now so i mean i gotta ask you kyle like what is and we've talked a little bit off camera about this stuff but you know like what's how's the vibe on the squad right now um, it's good. I mean, obviously like right after it was kind of quiet, I think for like a week, week or two, mm-hmm. just while everyone kind of like wrapped their mind around what they thought. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just having a lot more like full transparency and honesty. Cause I think it just was maybe, you know, a little bit of like, just like a, a feeling of like fuck how do we get out of this like it's like a gutting feeling where it's like nothing is going our way like right even like that match against dynasty it's like should be our match and then just taken away um not being able to close it out uh and so there was stuff like that like one thing that i i know for like me personally is i'm someone just as as a coach myself that 
wants to be that a leader on the team help see the whole game all the game plans out know everyone's job um, and be a part of like gathering the stats focusing on other teams focusing on every the whole picture and i stepped away from that and kind of let ryan as a new coach completely do everything on his own and then i don't think i personally had a good tournament like that and so ryan and i've had a, a few conversations since then he's like i think actually and through the practices we've had where i'm going back to being that more involved player i i end up playing a lot better and that's something like you know i think you can attest to because you have a major part of contributing to the whole game plan so that when you are on the field like you know what everyone's mm -hmm. doing yeah, yeah. and yeah. that was something that <clears> i had to learn from last event because i didn't i was so focused on myself that it, it actually kind of hurt because i didn't know like how everything was orchestrated um so that's one piece i think that will help a lot is going back into that into that role let me ask you this question though do you think that because if you look at the if you look at like just say the two teams that made the finals at the last event hurricanes and dynasty dynasty and hurricanes hurricanes were playing a pretty brash style of ball on that layout they knew it was aggressive they were willing to take risk i mean again look at how many uh bunkers that camp played um and you look at how they were just kind of attacking but they were playing with a certain freedom now they and they they had also just come off of a abysmal performance at at world cup they were also beat up they didn't have <clears throat> you know, like they didn't have a couple of their starting guys. Uh, Nick Ripple was hurt. Pate um, was out. Britt had a knee injury. So, I mean, you know, Nick played a little bit. Britt played, but you know, Pate didn't play at all. But C Wright really stepped, or C Wright stepped up and Camp stepped up. And I mean, all their starting five stepped up Bailey, Brown, everybody, you know, Stu. But do you think that you guys maybe, like, I understand the game plans and tactics and strategy are important, but do you also think because you haven't had great success? That there's like so much pressure that there's no freedom out there for mentally. sure for sure that's a big part of yeah, it that's to something make that, that move that it's like yes. oh, i don't want to fuck up i don't want to i mean that's something i brought up this weekend too because we'll there's and you can see it when you go back and you watch our games it's like when someone even makes has like a good point we don't even we weren't even like boosting that player because there's been so much bad we're like all right well let's that does it doesn't matter which is fair like we need to do a lot more to make up for what we've done um but that also just like then we we're struggling to build off of that and so it's just <clears throat> but when we ha like screw up or we make a mistake it's like uh again like <clears throat> instead of being like oh tight like you just wanted a two on on or like mouse great job bunkering for real with one ball like building on those things um i think is yeah that's a, a big part of it and i brought that up this weekend and I was like, we, it's also paintball. Everybody's going to get shot and you're yeah. going to lose points. Don't let that just like keep adding up. And we cannot break people's creativity down of who, what makes them an individually good player. You have to put people in places that we understand their weaknesses and their strengths. It, it just, it, it, was, it just reminds me of, you know, the beginning of excessive we, things weren't going well. Um, took like 14th at Huntington Beach to start out and then like some 6th and 8th but then we started like we picked it up about 6 to 8 months late 6 months later took like 5 second places in a row but that remember that speech that I gave on the hill where I was like talking about we're not playing with that reckless abandonment yeah. and I just get that same feeling for you guys when I watch you guys go back rewatch your stuff and it's like there's there is a bit of it there um, but it's just it seems that everyone's kind of scared to not mess up you know yeah totally and so that is a huge portion of it i think probably i would say maybe 40 50 percent of it um and then the next part of it is because everyone's hyper focused on screw-ups and mistakes and bad performance individually and on a team level something like i kind of figured out and came to light this weekend was that we are not thinking about so much about the objective and the goal from on a macro level and then also a micro level which is in the point what are we trying to accomplish and do we know how the other team is playing in the and you can see it a lot especially last event it looks like it looks like we're playing not to lose instead of playing to win and that is i <clears throat> i realize that it kind of stems from us not having an objective and a flow of how we want to play an individ individual match first, mm -hmm. and then how are we changing our pace in the individual point? So that 
we have to go into a little more detail as a team yeah. and work a little harder doing that. So people aren't worried so much about not screwing up because they're worried about like the, what the goal is, what the intent and what they need to accomplish as an individual and for the team. And I think that is something that will, um, you know, breed a breed different results for us. I, yeah, I just didn't like, I mean, we had talked about this before too. I, I just, momentum is such an important part of this game. And, and I just think if you guys just remember who the hell you guys are and, and how good at paintball you actually are and just kind of take the reins off a little bit. I think that having that flow in the point that's less static, more fluid, being able to play off each other's moves. Now, and we don't know what the layout's going to look like, too. Obviously, it's going to be yeah. kind of layout contingent, but it just seems <clears throat> a bit static out there. Let me see if I'm allowed to sh send share it. Um, but yeah, and then nope. So that so that I, I just that's one of the most compelling stories to me that's going to be going down in a couple weeks here, two weekends, about a week and a half. But um, the next interesting story is that it's two separate stories. It's there's two versions of this. You have these legendary teams, like so you have, and, they, and they're all. We could spend the next three hours talking about all these teams, but the kind of short version of it is that you have. Um, X Factor and Infamous haven't won in a little while, and uh, but their teams are the most potent I've seen those teams in years. I mean, I really don't think it would shock anyone. It should not shock anyone if Infamous or X Factor wins an event this year. I love both those squads. Um, and then other you know old school names with Ironman and Aftershock. Again, these are all different situations, but these are some of the most long running teams that we've had in our game. But it has been a, a while, well, 2020 since the Ironman won, before that, 10 years. Um, Shock is now a reinvigorated squad. But they went 1-3 and three at the last event. Ironman went 1-3 and three at the last event. Um, X-Factor is sitting at second, and they're going to be with you guys again. This is like a constant. You guys seem to battle against X-Factor quite a bit. Um, but <laughs> that's good to, to me but, in that in but last event. But as far as... I mean, they're, they're, they're yeah, always, they they good, always dude, look good, dude, man. They're like, X-Factor's well, X, X good. X-Factor and Infamous are... <clears throat> Again, they're at it. We don't know what the le what level aftershock's going to be at. Like we don't really know. Yeah. You know, because that's yeah. a it's a brand new squad, right? So one and three, we'll see how they end up. Um, and then Ironman also a brand new squad, bringing all the rebel guys up, and and they're gonna they're, they have a potent lineup, right? I mean, that's the best talent lineup they've had in in a yeah, long, in a long, while. long time. So aftermath or uh, sorry, aftershock comes in and is has this you know a super roster essentially again <laughs> ironman go to the most talented lineup that they've had again this is aftershock and ironman those are those teams have been a pro paintball team aftershock with a bit of a pause button for a while but since the early 90s right you know, the Ironman are the longest running pro team in existence and then you know with with infamous so it's like the story of those four teams these legendary names like who because the, and then the overarching story is like who the fuck is going to step up to contend with dynasty you know, again, you know, it's like the, it's been a story for a long period of time. I and mean, that was the same story when we, we were on excessive, you know, back in 2004, <laughs> 2005, 2006. It's, it's, it's the same story again, right? It's like, who's going to step up and take down Dynasty if you guys have won over half the events since late 2020. Um, and I'm just kind of looking to these legendary squads. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of these other teams that are in the mix too. That's, this is a very complex story, but I'm like, dude, what are you guys what, like what, what I just, as far as just when I, cause when I go on the events, I've been doing this for so long. Like that's, what's fascinating to me is all these different stories. Like when you guys play, I'm going to be on the edge of my seat. Cause I'm going to be like, wow. You know, cause if I was a betting man, I would be like, they can't possibly go and have another bad event. You know, like how like is that, was that roster? Yeah. When you, you walk know? down to the roulette table and it's like all black. And yeah. Like, you're like, you're like, yeah, we got 15. Before it hits red, right? have, now again, at the roulette table, those are all independent closets. So it could be 15 and no, there's nothing stopping it from hitting 16 blacks in a row. But at some point in time, red's going to come up. Yeah. So that's what I'm looking at their roster. I'm like, at some point in time, that ro that roster cannot possibly, you know, like they've got to step up at some point, yeah. you know? So, and then Again, and with Shock and Ironman, brand new teams, but with Infamous and and uh, and X Factor, they're in a, another tier right now, just based on how long that team's been together. Infamous did not get picked apart for the first time in a while. Um, really like the roster that they have; they got a lot of firepower on that squad. And then, uh, and then with X Factor, I mean, Jesus, dude! Like, if you look at their starting like six, seven, I know you can only play five at a time, obviously, but dude, it's like. It's uh, it's it's just a lot of compelling stories. So when, I, cause you know, people ask me, they're like, "What do you still enjoy doing about this?" I'm like, "Well, this is my job, but I, <clears throat> but I still really do <clears throat> enjoy watching these stories play. It's like reading a book, man. It's like every time you show up and 
get to sit there and I just see yeah. these chapters just turn each time, you know, and it's really interesting. I want, wanted to point, I think I kind of mentioned this on one of the other shows, but I didn't like go too much into detail and I have to give praise like to, <clears throat> to dynasty right now. Um, and obviously like my goal is to win for my team and bring our team to get there. But like what I look at and there's two things here. One, um, I think the field layouts might create a different strategy for the entire year long. And I think we saw that <clears throat> with, um, Hurricanes, Aftermath, and Russian Legion. Who uh, did they? Do you any of those get top four last year? Wait, sorry, say that again. Did any At of any those point, any of those any three teams top get top four? So say year. it again. Who was it? The top, the current. Uh, top no, four. Legion had a terrible year, yeah. year last year. Yeah, Hurricanes. Uh, the, high, the highest. So Legion had a really bad start: nineteenth, eleventh, fifteenth, and then sixth and eighth. Who was the next team? Hurricanes and Aftermath. Uh, Hurricanes. Um, they did make it to f- fifth. They went seventh, seventh, sixth, fifth, twenty first. Twenty first. That's wild. That was wild. Wild, and then World second. Cup. Yeah, and second. You know? Yeah. So, and then what was the other team? Aftermath. Aftermath. And then aftermath. Top seventh. Four, seventh. The seventh. seventh. Yeah. So I was thinking about this, and like, you have three teams that were not in the top four once last year, now in the top four, and you have what it what was what did X Factor take? Last year? No, no, sorry. Now let's go back to this. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, X Factor eighth. Eighth. And they, 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 and they and they had a crazy prelims because they beat you guys by three, they beat Blast Camp by four, but then they lost to Legion by one and lost to Dynasty by one. Yeah. And, and then, then you have and then beat Rebel by one and then lose to Dynasty by one. And then you have Damage, who incredible team. I still think that they you know we then could they see went, them winning an event. And yeah, like, of course. And but yes. they won one and three at the last event with a negative three. Close, very close games for them. Mm-hmm. And what what where I'm going with this is one and I, I said it even before, like practicing on the, with these new beams before kind of the season started in January. Uh, they like we're seeing a new. You're gonna mm-hmm. have to figure out a new level of strategy. And those looking at those teams aftermath, and I know Russians. There's was like a lot of their work ethic and what they were putting in. Hurricanes, I think, have a coach that could you could arguably arguably say he's like. One of the most incredible minds oh, yeah. we've Mike had Bianca, in paintball. Mike Bianca's well, amazing. Like yeah. nothing against Skinny. Skinny's like obviously he has everything, um, but like to bring their team to that position is pretty powerful. But with all of this, it shows how fucking strong Dynasty is. Like to, to with that huge shift and tide change of where people are placing. Right, I see. Yeah. What for Dynasty to just well and no Blake still, no Chris yeah not even at full power it's like I was talking to Vic about this yesterday he's like you think we could do it again I'm like I, I don't see why not <laughs> you have more guys next tournament and I explained what I just explained to Vic he's like shit I didn't think about it like that well, but like, also yeah okay, the paradigm the, shift in, in the in the, yeah. the high talent teams kind of going down and then the the the, the, the highest place there's fifth, a huge place there's a huge shift and then you guys still like still figure out a way to hold first place but, it's but pretty dynasty incredible. also had to win you already have three come from behind victories right. and the biggest one was you know in the finals when you're down 3-0 or 0-3 and so it, it was just a very interesting another captivating performance from dynasty to make it interesting we like to keep know, it exciting and then now heading into this next one but that so that's you know, again, when we're looking at all these different stories and these narratives, it's like who who's going to step up to take it out in Dynasty? Um, I mean, you know, when you're going back and looking at, you know, damage has been very good the past few years. So even though they had a subpar performance at this last one, that's a, that's going to be that's another one of those very very interesting stories. Can the Hurricanes keep it up? Um, <clears throat> what's Heat and Impact going to do? You know, because Heat and Impact are you know it's been since 2001 was the last time that Houston Heat won an event, but they've been incredibly consistent. And then go to 2002, Impact put up two wins in a row. That wasn't that long ago. There's been some change in roster since then, but not a drastic, depends on how you want to discuss it. That could be a longer conversation. But, you know, there's definitely, there's just so many of these fascinating little stories in here. Yeah. Um, and Sal, Sal had a good question. He's like, he, he said, uh, will NYX get back on track or did their window of opportunity close? Yeah, that's, a really, that's a really, that's a really good, good question. question. That's a really good question. Um, Again, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, it, they so the what changed happened for them? They lost Corey Hall, uh, and that was one of their core starting five. We have a Sloan on studio. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, it's a mess that you have to clean up. But your dad's gonna give you five dollars if you clean it up. Okay. I don't know if I can afford it. He right just now. won a, a big <laughs> award, actually. 
What did he do? He, he, what did he do? He <laughs> did really good at the last event, and so somebody paid him some money for that. Yeah, who, okay. So he can afford to pay you $5 if you if you clean up all of five these. Five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. But you have to clean up all of this mess. Okay. Here, you can put it in this here, box. Sloan. Because Uncle Kyle um, exploded a confetti Sloan, come, bomb. come stand right here. No. Here, look. I have some more for you right here. The other guests, I just don't think we had enough time, but was uh, yeah. was Alex and Oliver. Alex and Oliver were yeah. here. Come on. Mm. But he said he didn't know if he would answer the phone, so... Listen, the Over, Spick and Span uh, show is getting pretty, well, pretty big together. time, uh, and uh, you know, if you can't commit, I don't know if we can, you know, get you on. But dude, if you guys are watching this, I'm sure you are. Thank you very much for the shirt. I got to give this he this headband away too. I'm gonna spin the wheel in the background. We can still, we can keep talking. I'm just, I'm gonna queue up the wheels. Yeah, no, I, I, whatever. I mean, there's just a, a ton of. We're gonna do a pre-show on Go Sports as well too. Talk more through these things, but um, yeah, there's just uh it's just this is what's fascinating to me still mm -hmm. after all these years you know is that they're it's you're wait, you're wait. continuing to read or you're watching a movie that never ends you're reading a book that never ends it's like watching this big and span show <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah what are we on as far as timing uh hey, oh, like we're, we're cooking yeah we're cooking okay? yeah we shot something oh that's not fair i wanted to shoot it <laughs> i wanted to shoot it should we get a new we'll get another one and we'll shoot the other one do you want to show that Oh my gosh. Dude, Kyle, good call. Good. Good. Oh, and make sure to, uh, that I get your autococker for uh, Dude, cocker top. Look at this. The first Ooh. great American paintball. Look at that. Let's uh, let's crack this bad boy open. You guys want to take a look at it while I spin the wheel? Yeah. yeah. Make sure to share the experience. Did someone said no. Bless you. Wow, so here it is. Tome. This is I know like. This is uh. You. There you go. Dang. Um. So we've got uh, I believe like the the Great American Paintball, um, episode. No, it's not episode. Issue. Issue, issue one. one. <laughs> it's been a while since I've uh, been had a magazine. <laughs> Orlando, that's what I was trying to. I was thinking get Alex on here. Call call him up. Should we call him? Call him up. Let me help. I moved the mic a little bit. Let's get Alex on, see if he's here. Well, you got Dude, it, Orlando. Dad, why is no one right there? There, back when I still played. Oh, Maddie, you're in there. Where? And then Mr. H. Mr. H? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hold on, hold on. We're getting you, you're getting you set up. We just opened up the first, the the first edition. Who is this? Me? <laughs> it's your I conscience. It. Have you thought about, have you thought about your home insurance recently? I lost you guys. Would you like to get another five hundred thousand dollars on your life insurance, Mr. Fraji? <laughs> hey guys, uh, let's sing a song together. Okay. I have a drug trade settlement, and I. <laughs> Dude, Hormy's really paying off. You guys have a you guys have a tennis court in the bat in your backyard. Yeah, this is the Hormy's tennis court. We just um, it's gonna be the dual field. <laughs> Look. Dude, this show is still on. I know, dude. We're, we well, we decided to call you guys because we we just opened up uh, the, the great. I, I kept it. I kept it in plastic until just now because you told me to open oh, it up on the show. Nice. Yeah. I didn't mean is it still on? Like, is it still on because it's late? I meant it's still on. It hasn't been canceled yet. Oh. We almost got canceled today. Yeah. We yeah. just we just took a photo hey. of every page though and uploaded onto the internet as a downloadable yeah. file PDF <laughs> for three ninety nine. <laughs> Great, someone's gonna do that now. Oh well. <laughs> Pete, uh, oh, when do these uh, when do these um when do these ship out, Alex? Um, well, they should be this week. I, I, they should be coming in uh, any day. And the second they come in, they're going out. So, um, so we're really stoked on it. Uh, thank you for everyone who's subscribed and anyone who's going to, and obviously anyone who's contributed. You Sweet. <laughs> So what's the what's the deal? How many when when you, you said that they're shipping out here when? This week they're on the way. They're on the way right now. They're they've been shipped from the. 
and they're headed to our shop. So the second they get in, we're going to start packaging them and sending them out. Awesome. Yeah. Um, well, so far, it looks pretty cool. Dude, I'm literally just pu pulled the plastic off of it j right now. Um, I, I literally haven't looked at it until th I haven't even seen it yet. Well, we're, start we're, we're digging into the next issue already. Awesome. So, um... I'm going to... Uh... I'm gonna look, give it a, give it a look over. I want to see what Camille thinks of it and uh, other. Um, st I think it's a cool, it's a cool thing to be able to put like in the house, like you said. Yeah. Hey, I found totally. a dollar. You can keep. That's your dollar. That's what you win. Yeah, I'm gonna go drop one off. There's a local pizza shop here with like all kinds of eclectic magazines that people can read, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna uh, go put one in there. Um, I don't even know if I want to look at this. I kind of want to wait till well, it arrives. Well, thank you also for making these Spick and Span bands. Yeah, um, those are sick. Oh, yeah, we have a bunch to send down to you guys. Okay, really those cool. Are sick. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. we just, Jason Motto actually just won. Uh, he, I'm going to send him this band right here. Shout out to Jason uh, Motto. That's Oliver right there. Oliver Mato. I told him not to. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he beating up on the kids? Daddy, I have fun. Uh, no, that's you, pal. <laughs> Nice no, he's a competitor, dude. I once saw Ryan take down a kid in, the, uh, like, a four-year-old kid in the sandbox. Nice. <laughs> Oliver is a competitor. He doesn't want to. What's that? I mean, you tried to drown that kid in the pool. <laughs> dude, he splashed me in the face. Almost knocked my contacts out. <laughs> yeah, coming. <laughs> yeah. Little bastard. Well, that was fun this weekend. A little hang. Oh, we're going to be two more days, and we're going to be together again. I know. I'm excited. Is Oliver coming down? Oliver, you coming down? Come on, dude. Yeah, you got Oliver, it, dude. Oliver and I are going to Coachella. Dude, you always get a spot. Yeah, you always get a spot. I, I tell him I got his, I got his, I got that? his shoes, his, uh, his gray goose. What I think they it? ordered you a jersey. Yeah, I definitely. We ordered him a jersey every single uh, event. We got you a jersey. Yeah, pal. Oof, dude, Tyler's scary. Oh, Dude, this is cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go look at this um, this magazine. You've been mediocre to talk to <laughs> in this round. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I was expecting your call earlier. We sat around this shop and then I had to go pick these guys up. Where's my hey, copy, hey, Alex? Bye, bye. Freaking fan show sucks. Hi. <laughs> Don't listen to your dad. They never watch the Spick and Span show. What? Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to your dad ever. Hey. Oh, what's on there? Tell, tell, Look hey, tell that. Alex he stinks. Tennis ball with a giant what? bug on it. Tell Alex he stinks. Who is that? Okay, Alex. Okay, Alex. Oh. Yeah, okay, you California. stink. See ya. <laughs> get him, get him. Hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. Yes, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Move, Sloan. <slow. laughs> Ice. Ice. Oh. That's how you do it, Sloan. All right, teaching them young. You are doing such a good job. I owe you big bucks. All right, everybody. Smitty, thank you for joining the show. Um, also, just as a reminder, uh, Dynasty Champs Club will be having an Intel session tomorrow, the first one of the new quarter. We're going to be doing a big grand prize giveaway. If you are a Dynasty Champions Club member, you have the chance and opportunity to win uh, an all-expenses-paid trip to practice with Dynasty. Um, also, if you guys want in on the action and be able to join the... Uh, uh, the fun and the Intel session, also the NXL VIP experience hosted by the Dynasty Champions Club. You can go to DynastyPaintball.com and sign up for the all-access pass. So it's uh, 45 bucks a month. You get to join the Intel sessions. We do uh, we give away a ton of free stuff on every Intel session. These are these are actually really cool. These are the gifts for the Champs Club last month. Um, it is a Hormesis headband that is called the Dynasty Champs Sunday Club. Every single band that came in this was uh dated so this one's 313 2022 uh based on a win since we formed the dynasty champions club so this one's the sunday club so this is the world cup pink tight uh, so this is our world cup bands and so we made a we made a different band sent those out we're also going to oh, be giving them dated on the yeah so each yeah. one got all seven you know <laughs> each each champ oh, chance got got a random a random band yeah. Um, and they're numbered. So there's 88 of these. There's only six of these. Um, wow. And we're going to be giving away a handful of these on the show tomorrow on the Intel, Intel session. So you guys can still sign up for that at DynastyPaintball.com. Sign up for the All Access Pass. And congrats to uh, the only one person that uh, posted on 
Instagram story, uh, something creative, tagging um, paintball stats. Yeah. And Spick and Span show. Okay, that's that's pretty. We're gonna, we're gonna whoever did that write that person's yeah, name down. Paintball Sundays. Paintball Sundays. Made, made Sundays. It, thank you for making it easy. Only one person. Uh, did that crush right. it too yeah but that's, that's, yeah it, you're getting a prize from gen x global we got uh, some pod caddies and some water bottles that's to give away i'm gonna that's repost really it on the swig and span so you guys, <laughs> you guys can one. see and uh and thank you smitty is you're getting an air horn paintball sunday's getting an air horn pate smith maddie marshall we're hitting the air horns that's right sloan's getting an air horn um, and may, make sure you subscribe to go sports next event going down a week and a half out yeah. of texas we're gonna get our and, and next week we're gonna be doing picks uh, for who the bracket picks, we'll get all those in. We'll get you some. We'll get we'll get them all. Can you give me one for me? Duh, of course. Just know that if you lose, you got to take a Greyhound bus to the next tournament. We'll have to figure that out with your mom, though. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. Can you give us a again? I really want to show the layout. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. yeah, we have the layout. You have the layout. The actual layout. How'd you get the layout? Because we're the Spick and Span show. We always get the layout. Oh, they gave you the layout. Yeah.